to get into chat. We will see who's going to fill up. We is here. We is here. So let's wait for some people to jump on in and we will uh, we will begin to play because we've got some really cool things about to uh, happen here. I want to show you guys some quick tricks and um, some, what's the word? Um, uh, all right, I'm having a brain fart. I'm having an Emily moment. Um, some quick things. Uh, ah. Yes, I'm having an email. Okay, I can't think. Shortcuts. There we go. Shortcuts. Show you some shortcuts on some really cool uh, effects that normally would take you hours or all day in the oven or using your heat gun. So what I'm going to show you is something really cool. Marina taught me this. This is a new. This is new to me, and I was like, "Well, that go." Uh, this is this is faster. This is easier. It's cheaper. You might need to get you an old iron that you don't care anything about ruining. And, a, and a pillowcase or, or fabric. Right. Or a pillowcase or a ironing board cover that you don't need no more. That you can stain to, uh, stain to your heart's content. I have a piece of uh, fabric here that I, I usually do crafts and stuff on that I don't care if I ruin it or not. I've already done it. Um, so, uh, we're, we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you some really neat things to, uh, uh, you can coffee stain with. Joy said I have a live ending. Sorry, what? I have a live pending. Uh, Marina, can you go in and shut that one down that's pending? Yep. Give me a minute. Okay. All right. Thanks, Joy, for the FYI. Say something in the in the chat if you're in here, girly girl. So anyway, what you're going to need is a spray bottle and make you some instant coffee in here. And make sure it's warm water, preferably, because the warmer the water, the faster the coffee dissolves. Get you an old spray bottle. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them just about anywhere for a dollar, about a dollar or two. So get you a spray bottle, instant coffee, and some warm water. Mix it up. But here's the trick with this. Don't mix the coffee with the, with the sprayer in. Get something and cover it up and shake it up and mix it up real good. You can see I've already shook. I've already shook. It's all mixed up. This is what I used to coffee stain in. I have several of them. I usually have, I have them all over the place. So get you a spray bottle instant coffee, and some warm water or hot water, whatever you prefer. All that does is it helps dissolve the coffee a lot faster. Now, with this, this is the magic. This is the magic liquid right here. And it all it, it all goes to how, how much coffee you put in your bottle and how much you spray out. Okay. Get, Sorry, Emily. Both of those have been removed. Okay, thank you. Um, what was I at? You interrupted me. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it all goes to how much coffee that you put in your bottle and how much that you um, how much that you spray out. Guys, you're learning a, a little bit of a secret. I don't want to tell you, but this is a new secret. That you all are going to be learning from me, but y'all are more than welcome to buy from me, or you can make your own. It's up to you. I know they say don't. A lot of crafters don't give away all your secrets because if you give away all your secrets, then you're going to come back because they can do it themselves, right? Right. 
So, uh, what you're going to need is your coffee, your bottle. You all are going to be learning from me, but. Sorry. But anyway, you're going to need several types of paper. You can use, this is a thicker cardstock. You can use envelopes. You can use postcards, or not postcards, but index cards. I have uh, legal envelopes, or legal, uh, well, they're actually stamped. They're, um, they're uh, what do they call it? Um, they're not legal envelopes. They are uh, resume envelopes. These are resume envelopes. And uh, I found some really cool paper at the Goodwill, and it looks like crumpled paper. Look, I don't even have to crumple this up. It already looks crumpled. So, get you some different type of paper. I've also got some envelopes to match that. I've got some vintage etiquette, um, etiquette book pages here. I have got some very small Cambridge Cambria graph paper, as you can see, real tiny. I have some uh, card bases. They're white and an off-white or an eggshell color. You can't tell the difference because of the light, but this one's eggshell, this one's white. I also have some just regular typing paper that you can get out of your printer. I have some old scan fronds. I have some thicker uh, writing paper, textured. It's got a texture to it. I don't know if you can see it, but they are textured and have the paper ripped at the top. I didn't do that. I got it like that. I've got some regular notebook paper. I also have some tracing paper. Or you can use tissue paper, but this is tracing paper. These are all the elements that you are going to see. Let me try this. On. And I've not tried it on anything but envelopes, so we will try this together and see what happens and if it works on other styles of paper. So I've got a genre of different kinds, ranging from thick to thin to even thinner. And what we're going to do at the end with some of this some of these things we are we are going to either make a like a little journal or we can make a signature to go into a journal and so that's what we're going to be doing this evening. all right now you're also going to need an iron and an iron you see iron and it has to be set on the hottest setting without speed in other words your linen setting. <clears throat> Make sure that's good and heated up. Now, um, Marina, have I missed anything so far? Not that I can see, no. All righty, guys. I'm going to put you guys down to my table, and I am going to show you this really, really cool, neat trick. Hey, little C. Hi, Shelly. Sorry, Hi, I was explaining what we I'm, well, telecast I'm telecasting this both on my channel and on Emily's channel. Um, I have the Emily's chat up. Forgot to bring my chat up, so I apologize if I didn't see everybody in my chat. I now have both chats up, so hi, everybody. <laughs> All righty, guys. I'm going to put you guys down to the table, and we are going to commence on making a mess with some coffee. All right, guys. Down to the table. All right. Can everybody see all right? In frame. All right. Now, take your coffee. Give it a little bit of a swirl because uh, if you if you if you made it and it you let it set, give it a little bit of a swirl. Don't yeah. shake it up and down. Huh? Give it a little bit of a swirl in your bottle because if you've let it set, you've had it made and you let it set, just kind of give it a swirl. Now, what you're gonna do? If you hate getting your hands dirty, wear a pair of gloves. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, as you all can tell. I don't care a bit. Now, take your bottle, little bottle, and 
if it's going to spray. Give it a good spray. And what you need to do after you give it a good spray, let it pull up a little bit. This is a bigger sheet that I'm used to working with. Let it pull up and let it sit for about, mm, just about a minute. Let it sit and let the fibers get soaked. That's not a big dirty dog. Now remember, put you down something that an iron is not going to melt or something that is you can get it dirty and you can ruin it. So uh, this is an FYI. Miss Carrie, I've seen your post. I've seen your post about your CAT scan. Everything came out clear, and I'm so happy for you. Yes, congrats, Carrie. I'm really, really happy about that. I've been praying. Ever since you told me that you had to have a CAT scan during my live, I had you in my prayers the whole time. The whole time. Now, if you all did not see my stream, I think it was yesterday, wasn't it? Yes. This is what we're going to be attempting. This has already been done with our iron. This is what we are making. We are making some really cool coffee stain paper without using your heat gun or your oven. You're using your good old ironing, uh, your iron ironing. Uh -huh. But this is what we're going to be making. Can I make an interjection on that one, Emily? Yes, if am. you have what I use... <coughs> Sorry, give me a second. What I use is I've got the Cricut Big Iron, the um, square one. That works amazing. Out of everything, that's the best one. But if you don't have one of those, then the biggest iron that you've got would work the best. And this is the biggest iron. I have two. I have a little one. I actually the have one, one didn't give but I you can't find it. Yeah. The little one okay, didn't give you. So I went to the Goodwill and I got me two irons, one that you can travel with and it's about this big. And then I got me one of the big boys. No steam. I don't use any steam when I use this ironing, uh, this iron because it leaks. <laughs> so I don't use iron. You steam with it. All right, ladies. Now here's the magic. This is where, ha uh, where it happens. I think I let it sit a little too long, but it might work. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your iron. And you're going to lay it down. You might hear it steam or you might see steam rising up off the off the paper. Now, you're going to want to let that sit about 30 seconds. So, Rena? It's very, very important to let it sit for at least 30 seconds. If you try and move that iron under 30 seconds, it's going to end up ripping your paper. Because it has I not dried it and it's stuck to the bottom. Right. I, I figured this out the hard way. She, I think she yep. told me, but I forgot. I figured this out that you cannot move it. It will just basically gum up and you will just rip. It's a nasty mess. Tell you that. <clears throat> Vanessa, I've shared it out in most of the groups. Um, if there's one that I haven't shared it to you, feel free to do so but I've shared it into most of the groups that I know I can. All right. I'm about to lift this up and we will see the outcome of this. All right. You ready for something cool? You will see the iron mark, but I'm going to lay this back down on another wet spot. That's the reason why with the Cricut machine, it doesn't have those iron marks. It'll still leave the edges, but it won't leave the dots, but that's okay. It just adds beauty to the paper and it's a heck of a lot faster. And in a lot of cases, when you cut it up, you're not even going to see the iron marks. Yeah. Now, I do have a smaller one. I can actually use that to grab the edges, but it's not heated up or heat. Have been, it's not been heated up, so I can't really use it. It's cold. And I've had this heating for about an hour. Well, the small one didn't really leave this much of an impression on it. No. But I can actually go heat it up and do the outside edges if you just want just a small, a small piece, like a real, real, yeah. real small envelope or something like that.
Ooh, I can smell that bacon on there. It actually has a slight odor when it's drying. Now, this was a kind of a porous piece of paper. So that is the reason why we have a lot of the marks on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to try out some of these other papers and see what happens. Now, if you have a spot that's still wet, just place your iron back down. Exactly. Actually, and that, uh, it, she says the impressions gives it more character. Exactly. I'm not seeing it, but I have to. It's on my channel, so we're oh. going to get a mixed. Oh, okay. Who said that? Vanessa. Oh, yes. She said what now? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having a moment. It's okay. She said the impressions give it more character. Right. You are correct, Vanessa. Thank you. I kind of like that. This actually would make a really great, this would actually make a really kind of a cool steampunk type of uh, cover for a journal or a, a, a uh, signature. Actually, that's true. It would make a beautiful steampunk journal. Yeah. And I might do that, guys. I might just do that. Because I've been getting requests for more steampunk stuff because I hadn't really done it. So this might be like a like a really cool uh, one signature steampunk journal, just blank, you know, uh, with all these papers in it. You never know with me. Because I already have my needle and my, my thread. There you go. Already already laced and done that way i didn't have to do it online and sit there and fiddle with it i already got my my string ready for my seat i was kind of prepared i've been sitting here waiting i know i had some issues with paypal all right so we still got little hot spots right or wet spots right here but i'm gonna leave that be because i kind of like that little spot there but this is what that that sheet turned out to look like And I'll do that. I'll do the other side another time. Or oh, hey, that actually looks pretty good. That actually looks stained. Once you dry one side, the other side you can just draw and like flatten it out. You don't have yeah. to do the pressure. Yeah, exactly. You can just do it like that. You can iron it out. Uh, Vanessa is suggesting, and you can try this, but I got a feeling okay. I don't want, she's suggesting, but this is the reason why I don't like this method. If you don't want the marks from the iron, you can use wax paper. I don't like the idea of using wax paper because then the wax is going to get on your iron. What I would use instead would be parchment paper. Yeah. Uh, parchment what, paper. But the problem with parchment paper is you're not going to get the same impressions. Well, you could, we could try. I didn't try it. We can try it because the mm, direct heat talking. against the copy is what makes the marks on the paper. Let me see if I've got some in here. And if I don't, I don't know if I have any. Yeah, if you've got parchment paper, that would work the best because that's really, really thick. All right. Oh, we got parchment try. paper. I got to go buy some at the Dollar Store again. Dollar but, Tree, but. Yeah. Dollar Tree. Yeah, mine is Dollar Store. But right. So we're going to try it. Paper. We always like, we always. Good yeah, we are experimenting. So this is a brand new pack. <laughs> been open. She said she uh, wrote that's what she meant about the parchment, the not wax paper. It was supposed to be parchment paper. Yep. So the parchment paper might be the same thing, but start with a new sheet. Put the coffee out right, of so, the so we go. what do we do here? Ask her what we do because I don't I okay. don't know how she so, wants me to do this. Okay, so start with a fresh piece of paper. Preferably right, the same one. Huh? Start with a fresh piece of paper, preferably the same kind. Okay, I gotta get another sheet because I only grabbed one. Yep. 
Okay. Now spray it down with coffee like you did the first one. Let it soak in. Ladies, just in case you know, the one that Emily is using is a, um, a direct stream spray. So it's one of the dollar store containers. I'm using a cleaning bottle because I like the better for the spray to spread as opposed to hitting certain spots on the paper. But either way works. Hey, Shazzy. Is that Shazzy Mac in there on your um, channel? Yeah, Shazzy probably. I'm not sure if she's on your channel, but she's online. She's asking, so for beginners, how much coffee to water? All right. So um, what I did... What I did is I took four cups. This is the method after I Emily explained it what to do and everything. So the method that I used is I boiled four cups of water and I used four tablespoons of coffee. So basically the same mixture. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, you can reduce the amount of coffee or you can add more water to it. But I've learned that because coffee doesn't stay, even when you add alcohol to the top of it, it still goes moldy after a week. I'm only basically mixing it in small batches. So small batches get, basically gave me four cups and that was perfect for the you know, 10, 20 sheets that I needed to do. If you need to do more, obviously mix more, but more like eight cups or something like that. The general rule is four tablespoons, not teaspoons, four tablespoons per a cup of water. All right. I taught her this. Oh my goodness. It's okay. She's asking. <laughs> um, oh, okay. okay. So Vanessa, yeah, you can use a K cup as well. Just take out everything and use just the boiling water from the K cup. I've done that, but I found um, it cools down a lot faster than actual boiling water. But I mean, you can you can always have to be careful too because you can't put boiling water in a, in a spray bottle. It'll melt the bottle. So a K cup actually might be better. Sorry, I'm having Emily show this because I can't bring my iron to the desk and my hand iron like Emily's using is not strong enough to do the coffees. So it's easier for her to show it even though it's my method. Right. Because I have plugs at the yin yang. You should see my, my plugs in here. <laughs> All right. You should be able to go ahead and... Um, start drying it now and see what we get. You can probably st uh, see the steam rolling off, off the table now. Oh, crap. I didn't use the parchment paper. Use it next. Uh, I'll put it on the next take, spot. Take the iron off right away so it doesn't make the impression. Carefully. Okay, perfect. Now put the parchment paper down first. Nope, the other way. Turn the part. Ah, stop. Turn the parchment paper so it covers the whole thing. What the heck? Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, make sure it covers the whole thing. There we go. All right. You may want to turn the parchment paper upside down so it doesn't curl on you, but all right, done. That's okay. All right, let's try this out, ladies. Now, tell me if you see steam coming off of it. I do not. Okay, so there's there's the answer there. So it will dry the paper, but it won't give you the same steam effect. Shazzy said she needed a refresher. Perfect. This is your refresher. Yeah. Thank you for coming in on, that on the channel over here, Miss Shazzy. All right, Miss Shazzy, you said be right back. All right, just tell me when to lift that because that's kind of a... I'm not counting. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dang it. Dang it. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens. I don't know. That actually looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to turn that around. I'm going to do the other side. Ooh, actually, it's not bad at all. It could be the oh, fact that, yeah, it could be the fact that you left it on. Try one more thing. With the parchment paper on top of the paper, see if you can slide it around as opposed to just...
just holding it in place. See, it, okay, it, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it set. I'm gonna leave it set for a minute. You could, but I'm saying because the parchment paper is on top of the regular paper, you don't have to worry about it sticking to the bottom right. part what's wet. So you can actually slide it around. Hi, biggies. Thanks for coming back in. All right, now it's been sitting for about 15 seconds, I guess. I'm going to move it. Yeah, see? Makes it a lot easier. Well, it's steaming underneath the paper. When you pull oh, it, you when know. I pulled it up, it, it was steaming up. <clears throat> this is kind of like the long part where you're waiting and it's like the surprise when you lift it up I find this method is really fast and it makes it a lot easier to see exactly how many sheets that you want to get Hey, it's still up to mark there, though. Look, that's the second. Okay, so maybe parchment paper doesn't really prevent it from leaving marks. From scorching. Yeah, from scorching paper. But if you want the scorch look, go for it. But like I said, Emily, you can try a third one. Th try it a third time. But instead of leaving it, leaving the um, iron for 15 seconds, um, move it, slide it around right away so that it doesn't get a chance to scorch it. Gotcha. I'm going to finish up this one. Yeah, finish that one up. Still wet. Around the sides. Ooh. All right, we do have a slight difference with the parchment paper. It still leaves it slightly damp underneath. But that's okay because you can turn it around and use the iron to slide it around to dry it. It should not stick, even if it's slightly damp. See how it's not sticking to it anymore because it doesn't have that sizzle? Mm-hmm. Right, so that is our outtake of that. All right, that's paper number two. Now I got one more sheet in here that I could play with. We gotta move on to the next one. I can't hear you. All the friends are back. No way. All the boys are back. Give them some fat food. Hi. I cannot believe that. The boys are back. Oh, all of our boys, all two litters are back. I cannot believe it. I, I want to go see, but I'm on a live. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, what do we need to do? This one's kind of slightly dirty where it's been rolling around on my floor and the kittens have been walking on it. So might add to the stuff. Use the same method. Spray it down and then um, dry it up. But don't use, don't, okay, so put the parchment paper on top of it, but slide it dry. So just slide it around for like 30 seconds. Don't, don't leave it scorch. Or okay. if you're going to leave it, leave it like for 10 seconds. There you go. Try it that way. One Mississippi. No, don't, don't let it sit. Three. Don't let it sit. Slide it around.
Yeah, so that it doesn't uh, scorch the paper. See how much faster that is? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. All right. Moment of truth. Now I'm going to go over it with the iron on top of it now that we've yep. got that drum. So there you go. There's your answer. So, Vanessa, you are absolutely correct. Rather, but just remember, don't leave it down on the paper, then it won't scorch, scorch it. Or if you're gonna let it sit, let it sit maximum 10, 15 seconds so that it doesn't heat up. Yeah, and we wanna dry the back of it too. See no, now? that's dry. That's dry, now, that's what that's staying through. There's, there's the difference is you, you still have to let, you, you put the iron on almost immediately after you sprayed it. So it didn't sink through the whole paper. Yeah, once so let's do started. this. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it seeps even uh, seeps through again. Yeah. Okay, now put the parchment paper immediately on it. The same way you did it. Yep. Now go ahead and iron sliding using the sliding method. Did you say to let it sit for a minute? No, you didn't do the other side that way. So you did, you did this side exactly perfect. Go ahead and use the sliding method. And that side that you're ironing right now should now be darker than it was originally. The difference is that the way you just did it, you have to spray both sides. If you spray one side and give it at least a minute to sink in, you only have to spray one side. This method, you're spraying both sides. So you're using more coffee. If that makes any sense. <laughs> See that steam rising off of that? That's a hot paper. <laughs> it's still damp, but we'll go across it again using the dry. Right, there we go. One side and two sides. Hello, Miss Wendy. All right, now we're going to try this on a smaller thing, which is our, our little index card. This is a lot thinner than our, than our card stock. Hey, so Wendy. We'll We'll see how this goes, and I'm going to use it without the parchment paper. Part, blah, 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 blah. Without the parchment, parchment paper. Yeah, I'm going to use it without the parchment paper, but I'm going to let it sit. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it cool up. And we're going to show. I'm going to show you the effect that we worked with yesterday. So we're going to let it sit and cool. Don't move it once you spray it. Don't try and tip it or anything. Just leave it set. Let it cool wherever it wants to cool up. Let it sit. Boy, it's steaming from all that heat. Could I do that with Kool-Aid to get different colors? Possibly, yeah. I was actually thinking about going and getting some of my sprays and doing the same exact thing, actually. I don't see why not. Any kind of liquid is going to do the same thing. Yeah, you could even use food coloring, possibly, like a like a food coloring spray. Yeah. I bet you, you could do it yeah. like that, too. Yeah. Anything that stains paper like kool-aid or food coloring or anything like that all of it the, the difference here is what we're trying to do is instead of having going through the process of coffee dyeing it with big pans making a huge mess on your sink or making a huge mess on your counter 
than having to put it in the oven and waiting it for the dry or putting it outside, especially in the winter, this saves a hell of a lot of time. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to put this on here. You see where everything is kind of pulled up, leave it alone. Put your iron directly on top. You'll hear the underneath. So don't, don't, don't be scared. You, that's normal. And you're going to leave this for like, what, 30 seconds. Do not touch it. Don't try and move it. Cause once you put it down, that paper is like putty. It will tear apart. Trust me. I wouldn't know anything about that. Mm -mm. Sorry if you're hearing noises and running water ending. I'm just trying to get dinner on the table or dinner started. I got a nice, beautiful roast in the oven and got to make pasta. Marina, I'm hungry. Don't you say that. Them cuss words to me. <laughs> Them cuss words to me. Right here in about 10 seconds, I'm going to pull this up. All right, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You still got those, but if you use, like, like what Marina said, if you use one of those craft irons, you won't get those holes. But I kind of like that. You're watching and crocheting a scarf? Woo! Well, hi, Miss Rebecca. One who reminds me of my mommy. All right, I'm going to do this on the Saints on the, on the back side. I'm going to spray it just a little bit lighter. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. Let it pull where it wants to uh, where it wants to be. It smells my coffee in here. It smells like a coffee shop. So if you're sensitive, the coffee smell. I bet you. I bet you you could use tea, but like a like a darker darker. Oh yeah, kind of tea. Tea's a little bit different. With tea, I normally use one tea bag. Uh, no, sorry, two tea bags. Yeah, I think it's two tea bags per one cup of water because it needs to sit. And I use black tea, which what is the we, strongest tea that there is. What are, we, what are we spraying? We are actually spraying instant coffee that we have put into a bottle. And this is actually just a medium roast cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, now I'm putting it down. Put it down. Leave it alone. You'll hear that. When you hear that, you know you're doing it right. Oh, Just one more. Remember, point. make sure. If you're using a iron, don't put water in it for steam. You don't, yeah. steam. don't put steam in it. Do not put steam in it. Hello, Miss Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Waiting, we're waiting. Oh, Marina. Yeah. Guess what? Another thing I found. You looking at your? Uh, you looking at your screen? Uh, give me a minute. Uh, my stream or yours? Well, either one. Screen, screen. Uh, what temperature? You need to put it on the highest, um, the yeah. highest setting, um, on your iron, which is linen with no steam. But are you looking? Uh, one second. Die, die. Um. She asked if it stains the iron. If you do it directly yes. on the paper without the parchment paper, yes, it does stain the iron. So if you want to avoid that, then definitely uh, use parchment paper. But that coffee dye that you put on the, on your steam on your iron, it easily easily comes off with some steel wool, or as Emily discovered yesterday, a sanding block. All right, and I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay, I'm looking what at you're gonna need for that. What you're going to need for that is go to your local Dollar Tree. Don't spend $5 on a darn scrub, uh, scrubber. Get mm. you a sand and sponge. It has all mm. kinds of different sides. Now, also, get you some acetone-free yes. nail polish remover. Yes. 
acetone free nail polish remover that also works beautifully like anything it removes pretty much a lot of the stains all right now what you're going to do to clean your iron from all this and you can definitely redo uh you can reuse it in the same way because i cleaned this and i'm using it again yeah emily's iron when she picked it up yesterday was pretty bad. emily don't try and do it now because you're going to melt it you have to do it when the iron's cold yeah that's what i'm showing them you you got to do it while it's turned off but you scrub and what you're going to do is you're going to have a little bit of gray and then the coffee kind of mix. Make sure that you have a paper towel or something. Make sure it's not hot and wipe it down. Now, the next thing you're going to do is put a little bit of um, nail polish remover on a sponge or something that uh, that you can use to clean with. You don't mind yeah. getting dirty again. Well, and you're going to rub. You're going to rub it. You're going to clean it. Just like you would a window. Just clean it off. And make sure that you get the edges, edges here on your iron. Because that's where a lot of it is, leaks from. I wouldn't use a sponge. If you're going to take it, if you're going to use. A cloth. Yeah, if you're going to use it, you know the makeup remover pads that you buy? Use that. Either that or a cotton ball. Because anything else, the nail polish solution does not last. Especially on paper towels. The paper towels just soak it right up. Whereas a cotton ball or the makeup remover pads, it stays for a while that you're going to be able to, to, to actually use it. Now I'm going to try the parchment paper trick with this. And check the differences. Put down. I'm going to put it down and immediately put it on there and move it around. Yes, keep your old one, Dai Dai. Yeah. Yeah, keep the old one, Dai Dai, if you can. Like, use it for crafting. Use it for something like this where you don't care. That it's I, bought this, I bought this one especially for crafting. This one was a crap iron. I don't care if it messes up because I can go to yeah. the wheel and get it. <laughs> well, that's what my... my um, my Cricut is for, my Cricut iron, I use that for everything. I don't use that to iron clothes. That's just basically paper crafting. And if I'm going to iron clothes, I always put down parchment paper so that the parchment paper gets stained and not, doesn't transfer what's on my iron onto the uh, fabric. Wow, that is so porous right now. It's hot. It's about evaporating the coffee that I'm spraying back on there after I've lifted that up. It's sinking into the paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over top of this again once it's set a minute. We're going to go back over it. That was just to make the, the color a little bit darker. The, uh, Rebecca says she likes it more without the parchment paper. Well, this is, I'm thinking this it's is going to be turning out. To exactly. It. We're just experimenting at this point. Yeah. And this is I all these too. papers that we're doing is going to go into a, either a signature or a small journal. And we're going to do that together here. And it's not going to be perfect. Not going to be perfect. But I do know that I need to be off of here by uh, at least 8.30, 8.45 because I have specific instructions from Miss Lizzie that I need to be in her stream tonight or be in, in chat in her stream. So she wants me there. So I don't know. Right, I'm going to respray this one because we've still got some white. And since Rebecca says she loves the hove, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. You know that iron's walking away from me from the steam or from the liquid on top. It's kind of wanting to move away from me. <laughs> are yeah, you, gonna, are you watching? That. Are you watching your straight your screen now? I'm watching. I'm watching both. Okay, look what I found in a box. Look what I found in a box. I'm going to use in the thing. Uh, yeah, but not on the one that you made, right? Well, it kind of goes with the um with the images. Right, but aren't those images just as big as the first one you fussy cut? Yeah, but I don't have to use their legs. Oh, true. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you can do it without the legs. 
I mean, this this is even older than that one. I found a box I had tucked away with some uh, with some. Uh, yeah, I, mean, some I need to go and get old patterns. I just every time I go into the um, thrift stores, I always always forget. But it never comes to my mind. Like I'm, oh, I like that. Turn that into an ATC or sorry, into a tag and put some embellishments down this, those holes. Oh, that would be awesome. It's steaming in my hands. You should see the steam coming off of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, now I've got a few more of those. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually lay out two at a time because it looks like I can get from the size of my iron, I can get all right i do need to make an announcement ladies um our next auction is going to be on thursday february 6th at 5 30 p.m eastern standard time okay um Everybody's been asking, when's your next auction? And when's your next auction? Well, February 6th at 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern Standard Time. So, Wendy just sent me a message. And uh, she is asking if she, if I would like her to post a picture of the scarf that she is making in my Facebook group. Absolutely. Go ahead and post it in my group and as well as in Emily's group. Because both channels are crafting, and it's not just paper crafting. It's any kind of crafting, anything handmade. You finally opened your box. You did a video on it? Uh-oh. I'm going to have to go watch. Oh, definitely. Rebecca, uh, yeah, I don't know if I have her YouTube channel, but that is quickly fixed. It's just so, click her name. It's yeah, that's her exactly name. what I'm going to do. I am not subscribed, so I will subscribe to your channel. There you go. Let me go check. Ah, yes, she did. Oh. With Becca. I'm going to put the link. Give me a minute. All right. Let me subscribe, Becca. I am so sorry. Let me let me get the bell rung for you. There you go. You just got another subscriber from me. There you go. So it's linked on both channels if anybody is interested, and I will watch it definitely after the stream, Rebecca. Oh, wow. Look at that, where the coffee went underneath that. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Like I said, you get some really, really nice impressions. Oh, crap. I, I moved it. Y'all, don't do what I just did. <laughs> Y'all, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't move the iron when you set it down. <laughs> God. Emily, forget your precious thing do not work. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just trying to be funny. I got to perk up, you know. I had a bad day yesterday, so I'm trying to make up for it. I'm in a good mood. Because guess what? I got a call from a job person. I actually got a text first, and then I got a, uh, I called them. They're looking, they're looking for a part-time to full-time dog groomer. Well, my mother is a dog groomer, and I learned a lot of things from my mother whenever I used to work in her shop. See, I know how to do a shave down. I, knew, I know how to do the face, feet, and tail. I know how to cut nails. I know how to bathe. I know how to dry. I, that's all the things that, you know, and also know how to get the hair out of their ears. I know how to do that. Now, they're looking for a groomer. I mean, I said, listen here, I am willing to learn if you will teach me. And he, she said, let me talk to my husband and see what he, what he says and what he thinks. So I might be getting a job very soon. So fingers crossed, guys. I've been searching for a job for the last few months now. You're new and need to figure out how to link. 
I did mention you in the video, but haven't figured out how to go in and edit to add your channel link. All right. Now, number one, Rebecca, you need to go onto your um, <clears throat> onto your apps on your phone. You can do this via your phone. Go into your apps and look up what they call YT Studio. YT Studio. And that will give you yet yeah, that will give you all your notifications. That will give you all of your uh, your comments, everything, subscribers, comments, views, time, everything. Now, in that app, you can go in and edit. There's a little pencil mark up at the top. If you click on your video, there's a little pencil at the top. And you can edit your title, and you can go in and put your links in the description underneath it. Trust me, I do it all the time. <laughs> All right. Now, remember, it's YT Studio. It has a picture of a red gear with a white circle around it. I'm going to let that one sit and soak. And I put that one on immediately. <laughs> this is the this is the the finger tap on top of uh, of time. Got all kinds of goodies in this stack here that we can try it out on. Wait. All right. That's pretty. It's very pretty. All right. Now we're going to put the iron on this. Let it sit for a minute. Now, next we're going to be doing this little envelope. I'll show you. Right. Look at that on both sides. The boat on both sides it got that impression. So that is awesome. All right, awesome sauce. Rebecca, I'm glad you figured it out. All right, so now those are done. Now let's try it out on this envelope here. Now you might get you you can use regular envelopes as you can still see that the sticky part is on there don't worry about that do not worry about that let's watch this then we're going to spray this on here let's sit for a minute we're going to let it pool up <clears throat> Oh, you're showing the envelope method? Yeah. Yeah, I saved you on having hours of re trying to glue them all. Yeah, but I mean, you will have one or two that, that needs a little bit of help gluing down, but other than that. Excuse <coughs> me. <coughs> If I'm not hiccuping, I'm sneezing on you guys. All right, you see where it's pulled up. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the iron on there. All 
I wish y'all could see the bubbling on the other side of this. You're going to leave that down for about 30 seconds. And also, guys, um, head over to Marina's channel. Give her some viewing time as well. You can still see the same stream. Just give her a little bit of viewing time. Stay in there five, ten minutes. Go in there and give her some view time. If you're not in her channel, go and subscribe. Hit that bell for her. Give her some love. And also, ladies, if you see somebody in here that you've never seen before, give them a shout out. Say, hey, bud, how are you? And go check their channel out. Give them some love. Send them, leave them a comment. At least watch their uh, watch their videos for at least five minutes. Give them some, uh, some time. Help them out. When did I say my next auction was? It's going to be February 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please, ladies, set your calendars. We're going to have some neat stuff. I've got some new stuff that I'm working on. Hopefully, I get uh, at least a couple of kits made up for you guys and a couple of items made up for you guys to goggle over. Um, would you guys be interested? I know I've got a few, quite a few people in here. I need the hands raised for this. I need, uh, I need opinion. Me and Marina are doing sort of like a uh, ask the audience type of thing. We need to know if you guys like journal kits. I've got plenty of books and plenty of paper and things that I can put together for you. I need to know if you guys like journal kits and what you guys like in them. Like such as like painty papers, envelopes, that kind of thing. What would you like in those kits and if you would like to purchase any? That way I have some ready in the auction for you. Hi, Marge. <clears throat> And I can't see if you all are in uh, Marina's channel, so Marina will let me know if you all raised your hand or not. Emily, if you're watching this playback on StreamYard, you can see the comments from both streams. But if you're not, then I'll just let you know when somebody comes into my channel. No, I can't, I can't see chat. Okay, Amen. so uh, Margaret Hernandez just came into mine. So, hello, Margaret. And yes, thank you for the shout out, Emily. I definitely need viewers, but most of my videos posted are, are pretty much with a lot of people. Sorry, it looks like we lost Emily. She'll probably be back in a minute and I'll add her back into the stream. As you can see, my desk is a mess right now. Um, but just to give you an idea of the way that I did my, um, my thing, this is the junk journal challenge that I made for um, Stacy Evans group, Pink Poodle Crafts. And I'm just going to move a couple of things away. Give me a second. She's messaging me. Okay. So this is the one. Now, these papers, I did do it with the iron method. So just to give you an idea, as you can see how the impressions came in. And just to give you the one that really got me going is on the envelopes. This is the one using my method. You can see the impressions that came in on. I'm just going to put it back to Emily. All right, Emily, you're back in. I'm just showing them my journal that I put together. I'm glad you did that because I accidentally hit the wrong button and boom, I was gone. That's okay, but I'm just showing you my, the way my coffee dyeing came out using the same uh -huh. method. So basically, see how the different impressions came in on the coffee, on the envelope? And it didn't pull it apart, and I used the security one. There. Hopefully you switched to you before I, I, I went disappeared on Yeah, it automatically switches to me. So this is just okay. some of the um, 
And that's it. Just a basic journal, nothing special. I'm just showing them the journal that I made for Stacy's challenge. Oh, okay. I'm still working on mine. I've got to finish it because I've got to get, how, how long do we have left to get it in the mail? Uh, a couple of days. It's got to be sent out by the end of the month. Thank you, okay. Wendy. She says, I enjoy seeing you guys make. So thank you. Yeah, I'm going to, we're going to be eventually when I get all these projects finished, I'm going to start making one project that it's going to continue on to each day or each couple of days. Uh -huh. So did we have any hands raised for the junk, the junk journal kits? Because I can't say. <clears throat> yeah, I'm revamping the channel. I'm trying to do things that people think are interesting. I don't want to do anything that will go, well, she's doing something stupid again, and then please. No, I want to keep you guys entertained, and I want to keep you guys coming back and seeing what what's on the table and yep. how interesting you can get. And with your all suggestions, we can do what you ask, or try to at least. If she, if Marina doesn't do it or we don't do it, I can. And if I can't, I will point you in the direction of somebody who has and can do it better than me. <laughs> so this is getting a bit, look pretty neat. Did I, oh my gosh, my dimmer off on my phone. I keep having to watch look at the phone. There we go. Leave it there for a minute. All right. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh, I love how that one came out. This is just an envelope, guys. Now, if you find that you have an envelope that has peeled up like that and there's no gummy stuff left, I'm going to see if this works. It worked on the last time I did this. You go back through and you iron that back down and it should seal it back up to, uh, from the heat of the iron. Reactivate the glue. And if it didn't, you're going to have to use some glue. Yeah, which actually that made it worse. It made it undo. <laughs> But you can always go back and through. That's easy. Well, well, That's easy to put back together. Yeah, they're the easy ones. So what you do there is grab your glue that you have laying around and you glue it back. Oh, you glue it back down. Yeah, Wendy says it. That's pretty. It is pretty. It came out nice. And then you just glue her back down. And then voila, you have your nice envelope. Boom. Gorgeous. All right, now looky here. We have our resume envelopes. These are actually larger than your standard, regular long envelopes, because those normally end about right here. These are these are slightly longer envelopes. I happen to run across these at the Goodwill. My, oh my God, we got to pick this up. We got to close this. So we are. Now I will have some of these available in kits um, in my next auction. So be watching for them. If you would like to purchase, make sure you guys give a thumbs up to both channels if you enjoy uh, what you're seeing, and leave a kind comment if you're if you're re if you're watching the replay. Of this leave us a kind comment and tell us what you think. If you've got any uh, really cool ideas on how to make it even better than what we're doing now, leave us a comment down below. All right, and leave us those thumbs up.
Because this originally is not my idea. This is Marina's idea. I just kind of gave her the the foot in the door type of thing, and she ran with it. And so this is her idea, not mine. This is strictly her. I'm just doing it for her because she doesn't have a desk space to do. <laughs> I don't have a desk space to put my iron up there. That's the problem. Yeah. I have about this much. All four of my desks are, well, five technically are uh, full. Because <laughs> I, I finished one project, and I don't even put away from the last one and start another one. <clears throat> I'm planning on starting a Valentine's journal, ladies. But I doubt it will be done uh, by auction time. It'll probably be a work in progress or a whip. Um, who knows? Might also, done, might not. I will be starting one. However, mine is not going to be the traditional red and pinks and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. stay tuned for that. Yep. Uh, you've showed me the colors, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had a brain fart. Uh -huh. Oh, I am loving that. It's where the where it bubbles up. Oh, now y'all are getting to see where all the bubbles are coming from. Look at that, where it's bubbling up. That's why it's really important not only to use a pillowcase or some kind of material, put a couple of towels on your table, ladies. You don't want the heat to go through. Oh yeah, this is this is about four layers folded over of material so yeah i'm protective and i have a heat i'm a glass uh a glass underneath so i think this is kind of cool um uh, marina um can you yeah. put your channel into the chat it's already in the comments but i will do so again in the description box? Yeah, it's in the description box. So guys, if you uh, if you have not seen Marina comment, go look in the description box and go and set to her channel. There's where you will find it. Oh, it's not in there. Hang on. Oh, wait a minute. That no. Is, Sorry, guys. Yeah, that is weird. Okay, I won't be able to do it afterwards, but I did put a comment in your channel so you can click on my name. Okay. That is yeah. weird. I did put it in there, but it's not. Well, after it's, up. yeah, after, after it's, uh, after it's posted, Marina, just go in and put the, uh, go in after it's posted. Yep. Just go I in on, so. on there and put the link in there. Yep. I will do so. All right. Let's lift it up. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, oh. Love that. Oh, Marina, look. I'm Go looking. Ahead. I'm looking. I love it. That is awesome. That almost looks like a zebra stripe. Wow. Guys, I watched a movie last night, and it got me in the mood to make steampunk stuff. I was watching it on Tubi TV. You can go in and watch movies. It's an app you can get in your app store. It's called Tubi TV. And in the very beginning, it said the Secret Garden. And I'm like, okay, let's watch The Secret Garden. I've not watched this since I was a kid. No, this is a totally different style of The Secret Garden. And it's geared around steampunk stuff, guys. I was flabbergasted at all the pipes and the gears and the things that they had done. Oh, my God. You guys got to go watch it. It will get you in steampunk mode for sure. It's called Vanessa, the Secret Garden. Looking for my channel, so I posted a comment in Emily's uh, stream showing my name, so that she can follow the links to uh, go to my channel. All right, are you there? Who me? Oh yeah, cause I'm I'm watching on on YouTube and it looks like it's froze. No, don't worry about that. It unfreezes itself very fast. Okay, you see what I'm seeing? No, I'm seeing only Streamyard. I don't have the actual channel open. 
But let me check. Just watch my channel. Just watch my channel. Is it frozen with my hand in the way? Yeah, it there is. It goes. Yeah, there it goes. There we go. Look again. Gorgeous. Loving that. Loving you. You can really something I should do. Yeah, I'm really going to have to clean my iron after this session. I got that song stuck in my head now. Why? I don't know. This is about the time where I wish I had two irons going at once. You got an extra <laughs> two down and go for it. Shoot, no, I'd be double yeah. it. Do it double-handed. Clear, guys. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some steam here. <laughs> Ooh, I really want to try this. Uh, this paper that I found that already looks crumpled. Want to try this next? And it's double-sided too, so I don't even have to do nothing to it. That is so cool. <clears throat> this is the longest 30 seconds I think I spend. <laughs> Darn it. When do you be happy? I'm using my memories. Huh? I said, when you will be happy, I'm actually using my memories program to work on that album. Using your memories? It's called My Memories. Mm -hmm. It's a scrapbooking program. Oh, I didn't know what the heck you were talking about. I was like, okay, she's using her memories. Because I was actually right, the... I was referring to, to Wendy, but that's okay. That Now I explained it. <laughs> It's a program she got me hooked on. Oh. Tick tock. Tick tock. Wendy says, Yay! <laughs> I figured she would. Is it an app that you can you have to buy, or is it something yeah, that it's you can download? Program. It's called My Memories, and you you do actually have to buy it, but it's not that oh. expensive if you get it on sale. I think it costs me like twenty five bucks US, but and it has a lot of free graphics and everything on there that you can use for your scrapbooking. Oh. Yeah, at first I was really skeptical about using it, but now for the last year, that's the only program I'll use when I'm designing things. It is just amazing. Cool. All right, look at that gorgeousness, ladies. That's the front. And here is the back. You're gonna probably have to glue that down because yeah, it came unglued. Look at the back of that. That's just as gorgeous as the front side. And it's all the way through, see? So, yeah, that is gorgeousness. All right. Let's. Wow. That makes it even look vintage, too, because it's actually tearing like it was vintage, see? Yep. I'm just going to tack it down right there. All right, Emily. You might not want to move the paper if you're tacking it down. I 
I don't keep spelling the slate. Uh oh, she's pulling the I told you so, and I can just see it right now. I told you so. I told you so. She would. <clears throat> All right, so we got that done. That's how, that's what we did there. All right, now I'm curious enough to play with this piece of paper here. And it's basically your, your uh, it's not your printer paper. It's a piece of paper that I found in a pack that comes with the, comes with the envelope. It's like your, your stationary type of paper. So we're going to spray and play. Uh-oh. Please don't break. I've had you for a good while. But I got it. I got your sister over there in blue. All right, we're gonna have some good, good impressions on that. Let that soak in for just a minute. Let it cool up. Let the bubbles pop a little bit. All right, now let's get her done. Look at all that sizzleness. So I hope you guys are enjoying the show today. I hope you're learning. Hope you'll go out and take this method, uh, go out and take this method with you and do it yourself and see how much fun it is and how much coffee you can burn on your paper. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully that, hopefully we are inspiring you to get out there and craft and make some artwork, guys. We're showing you tips and side tricks to uh, what us crafters think is pretty cool. And yet you can use in your own craft room. Just make sure you go out and get a iron that you're going to destroy. <laughs> Don't use your good iron to, that you iron your clothes with on, on this. I know I see she's you. on my channel now. Oh, is she? Yeah. So I'm just saying she gave me a shout out. So I'm just saying hello. Ah. Thank you guys for channel hopping. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Like I said, go give her some love, you guys. I don't care if you leave my stream because you're still watching on her. You can still hear what I'm say. Go give her some lovings. Yep, that's the beauty of the StreamYard programming when you pay into it. You can watch on both channels. Yep. So make sure you hit them thumbs up for her and you hit them subscribe, that little red button that's the little subscribe button down below the stream there. Make sure you do that now. Don't forget. Oh, wow. I'm definitely going to have to clean this iron. Look at what I said. Don't use your iron that you're going to you iron your clothes with because this is what's going to happen. I like how this is turning out because the crinkles that were in this paper, uh -huh. well, the printed on crinkles, yeah. it actually makes it look distressed. Oh, nice. Looks like somebody's went through and brushed some bl uh, black ink on it and, and then sprayed it and let it drip. Hi, Marie. It's going good. It's going good. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, you did? Thank you so much, Marie. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Hi, Marie. And again, if, and again, if you are new here and just just watching and just learning, please hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. Um, if you are watching from Marina's channel, head over here. Hit that subscribe button. Or if you're watching from here, 
head over to Marina's channel and hit that subscribe button over there because we broadcast from both uh, both streams or both channels, and that way you could watch both of them. <clears throat> and also, again, if you see somebody in here that you don't know, go check out their channel. I implore you to do that because us crafters, we need all the encouragement that uh, that we can get, and we need all the love and the um, all the promotion to get people to view the channel. So head over to other people's channel. Go check them out. Hit that subscribe button and come back. And also, if you're watching the replay, remember, we also take suggestions on crafts that you would like to see and that we can do for you. So leave in the comments if you are watching the replay. Leave in the comments below uh, what you guys would like to see and what you would like to um, have made for you. We can Where's totally Shelley? make that. We have Shelly Carson uh, in the channel. Oh, yeah. She was in here, I think. Shelly yep. Carlson? Yep. So, thank you guys for jumping back and forth. Yeah. We got some channel hoppers, and I, and I like it when they do that. I yeah, do it all the time. So. The, paper is, the paper is turning out so yummy. The more dirty the iron is getting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's transferring to it. Look at that. Dirty. And that is just the first side. Look, oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at the yummy. Nice. Can you just imagine that folded over to make a page in a journal? Yummy. And it even has texture from the iron where it was bubbling up, guys. That's awesome sauce. And I'm not even going to bother with spraying on this side because that actually looks pretty cool. All right, so that's done. Let's do another sheet. I think I have two sitting up here. And then we'll do the envelopes to uh, uh, to match these. Hopefully I don't run out of coffee spray. because This is addictive, guys, and you will have fun yeah. doing this. You'll have the yes, smell yes, of coffee running good. up here. You just need to do one more. No, maybe one more. No, I think I'm going to just have more of these kinds of paper. Oh, oh just, yeah, it's like painting paper. It's like, oh, man, this is so pretty. I'm thinking I'm just, okay, that's it. I'm done. And then you reach for the, the prayer and you do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stop. Nope. My hands say you're not. Nope, nope. Never fails. Yep. You'll end up doing 20, 30 pages before your knot's over. And you only and needed five to begin with. Huh? I said you only needed five to begin with. Yeah, and then you'll have a whole stack, but you know what? You will have it for later, and you can use it in another piece. You can use it in another piece, and you, will have, you won't have to do it again. But you'll itch to do it again. Because... You'll have that coffee whopping in your in your face. You'll have that caffeine kind of whopping whopping in your face, and you'll be talking like a like a hyped up chipmunk by the time by the end of the night. And probably won't go to sleep, so you can craft some more. Yes, yeah, yes. And don't forget, ladies, Miss Lizzie's going to be going on at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come over there and and watch Miss Lizzie after you get done through. Marie on Eastland Frugal Art is buying large canvas and doing paint porch. Easy and. Marie and Easy and Frugal Art. Okay, cool. If y'all can decipher that, let me know and retop it. Yeah, I can, I can decipher it. Sorry, I was taking the roast out of my out of the oven. Wow, 
This is turning up so pretty. Did you see what Marie asked? She said to just put money down on a new apartment. And if we have any ideas, decorate the apartment. Oh, too many to count. I've done it oh all my over God. again. Do you realize you're talking to crafters that never sleep? <laughs> Do you realize it? You're talking to crafters to figure out ways of how to put our art on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Marie, this depends. I'll answer this question. I'll answer this question as, as clearly as I can. It depends on your style. It depends on your colors, your style, and your preference. Your you biggest, give us that. Your biggest key, though, Emily, is your budget. Yes, yes, you can figure it out. You can go buy expensive artwork in it. But in a lot of ways, sometimes just going through the thrift stores. And oh, the, yeah. like, we don't have to buy something that's falling apart. Like you could still buy new furniture, but the actual decoration my, pieces, thrift stores are amazing for that. Oh yeah, most of our decor in our house now is from Goodwill or where James Lee finds it out on the road. It's re it's it's reused. Absolutely. <clears throat> Everything yeah. that just, we have, I don't know if you guys have the same thing there in the States that we have here. Um, we have a place called Habitat for Humanity. Now, Habitat for Humanity. Um, they have it. They have it in States up here because uh, in Tennessee, they have it. Do they have it so that when they tear down houses, they resell the stuff that they take out of the houses? I think so. See here in I think so. Canada, what they do is when they tear down a house or they're real building a house and everything, all the cupboards, all the fixtures, all the doors, anything that can be reused is sold in their stores. So every once in a while, uh, there's like three of them right in my area. I and mean, every once in a while, I'll go and I'll buy, um, you know, what? go and take a look and see what they have. But all the cupboards, okay, let me rephrase that. I took some of the cupboards that they had taken down from previous houses and I turned them into filing cabinets and some of the, the um, other that uh, cupboards and things like that, I closed them off so that they become uh, bases to my desks. So you'll see there's about four or five of them that one I've turned into 12 by 12s and I've mixed it. A lot of my furniture is all mixed also with used Ikea. So any Craigslist or anything like that, that's an amazing place to, of course, being cautious and stuff. But we have what's called Kijiji here in Canada. And a lot of people list a lot of their used stuff right in our local city on Kijiji. And as long as you are cautious about um, how you contact the people and how you meet up with them, it could be an amazing resource that they just don't want to take the time to go bring to the jokes. Salvation Army or whatever the case may be, but they need money and an easy way for it to pick up. So I have made a roast and I've made gnocchi, which is potato pasta. And um, the roast, oh my God, it is smells heavenly in the house. And then the gnocchi, which is the potato pasta, I mixed it up with a little bit of butter and tons of Parmesan cheese. Oh, delicious. Mm. Oh, wow. I did the parchment paper uh, thing to the, uh, the, uh, the envelope. Rebecca, I'm in Canada. I'm actually in Toronto. Um, so a lot of the things that you guys get down there in the States and things like that, I have to order it in. So Amazon and Class Act are my two favorite places. And Class Act is the, my go-to scrapbooking store here in uh, Canada. And she has been amazing in support with everything that I'm doing as well as teaching me new methods and learning new albums and things like that. 
and I get first hand at it. Ha ha. <laughs> Cause I'm the student, I get the first tips. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that cool off for just a second, and then I'm go back over it with the iron. That is so steamy. I don't know if y'all can see the steam coming off of this thing. Um, no. What'd you do? Nothing. I didn't do nothing. I, 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 I tell you nothing. I say nothing. <laughs> I ripped it. <laughs> I it was a little wet right here around the, around the quarter right here, and I kind of Smudged it a little bit. Ah, it's okay. It'll be all right. So if anybody, I say that Wendy's in Japan. I said, I told her last time I talked to her, I said, hey, if you want to send me any Japan products and you want me to test them out, I go, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I do it. If anything, she sends it to me first. Right. Yep. I'll be your guinea. <laughs> no worries. I'll be your guinea. Never had anything from Japan. I watch a girl called Nerdy Crafter a lot. She goes to Japan a lot. She lives in she lives in Canada too, and uh, she goes to Japan a lot. But she lives just like a little bit across across the border from Japan. Yeah, nothing. A little blue cake fix, and then boom, there you go. There's your perfect, your perfect paper, or your envelope, or your perfect paper to go in. Just folded it. Put her down in there. Well, a lot easier now when I'm when I can. There you go. See, that'd be perfect in there. All pretty fine. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. You know what? We have not tried. Let's try out this tissue paper or this tracing paper. Let's see what happens to this. We'll use the uh, we'll use both methods. We'll use just the plain Jane, spray it on, let it set for a minute, and then press it, and then we'll use the parchment paper on this because this is a very, very thin sheet. So we'll try it out. All right, my bottles wanting to. And there we go. I just needed a little shake, shake, shake your booty time. All right. Oh, is Tina in here? Hello, Miss Tina. All right, so we're going to. We're going to press her down. We're going to use our dirty ass iron and press it down. And look at that steam. Just a roll. It smells so good. I love that coffee. Got it at Walmart. Got a big old jar of it at Walmart. I think it cost me about three or four bucks. And it lasted me a more. long time. Remember just to leave it down for about 30 seconds and then pop it back up. 
But I don't know how this is going to behave because this is tracing paper. So I don't know how it's going to behave. Uh, Wendy said her scarf is done. If you want to post pictures oh, in both of our groups, Wendy, feel free to go right ahead. Oh, yeah, please do. Those things look almost like cathedral. Do you see how that come out? Oh, nice. This is the tracing paper. So, gals, y'all know what works on tracing on paper. You probably use tissue paper, too. I don't have any of that handy at the moment. I left it in my bedroom. I don't have any handy, or we tried out on tissue paper. Carrie says her daughter-in-law is full-blooded Japanese and her granddaughter is half Japanese and American. So she has some Japanese things, but not much, though. So. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells so good. I can just sit my nose right there and smell it. I don't know. I guess that's just me. Kind of sort of smells like burnt coffee, but you know, you know, that is what you're doing. You're burning coffee. Uh, hi, Miss Karen. Uh, Karen, this is actually just a piece of old material that I have that I can actually uh, afford to ruin. This is, I'm not sure exactly what type of fabric it is, but um, it's taken the brunt of the of the ironing. Now, the pieces that we're using, we're just we're trying out different styles of paper, uh, thickness and weight and opacity. And we're just trying to see if it works. And if you'll watch from the very beginning, uh, we'll show you uh, what we've used to um, to try uh, to try this. We're teaching we're teaching a new way to coffee stain. It's an even faster and quicker drying. Is there a way to imprint designs like from lace? Hmm, that's a good question. That's a good question. Let me see. On the next round, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of this flat lace I've got here. And what we will do is we will use a piece of parchment paper. And we will press it down over top of the paper and put this underneath. So maybe we can get an imprint of this flat lace. So that's a very good question. I'm glad you said that. I would have never thought of doing that. So, ladies, after this, after this sheet's done, we will do it. We will try it. I'm um, that I'm curious because I never tried anything like that. Yeah, so it's trial and error, guys. So once we get this done, I've got about three more presses to get this. And we will try that. So stay tuned, ladies. Stay tuned. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I really like that idea. That almost makes me excited to hurry up and get this piece done. <laughs> to see if it works. Wouldn't it you, though? I mean, you'd be like, all right, wipe everything off. I'm done. I'm, I'm doing something else. This one going to try. Yep. Mm -hmm. The circles from the iron look like little windows. It does. It does look like little windows. Wow. Hey. That's awesome. Uh, 
Hurry up, Iron. Hurry up. 30 seconds is a long time to wait because I really want to try this. <laughs> what kind of coffee do I use? I use instant. Instant coffee. It doesn't matter where you get it from. Coffee's coffee. Just use the instant kind because a lot of the a lot of uh, times people use the brewed coffee and it doesn't stain as pretty. That's exactly how your brain works and you never get any of your projects done. <laughs> I'm the scatterbrain. I'm the I'm the squirrel. I'm like, oh that's pretty. Oh wait a minute, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh I gotta I gotta grab it. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like coffee in here, don't it? Burnt coffee, yeah. Vanessa, I don't know if you explain it this way. Uh, Vanessa says, uh, put the lace on top of paper and spray it all down and then put the parchment on top of it and you might be able to transfer the whole thing. You'll copy dye the, the, the lace at the same time. Oh, good idea. All right, Wendy, take care of yourself, hon. That's a good idea. So, I got this right. I'm going to use this paper. I'm going to use another piece of this tracing paper. I've got plenty over here. Yep. But I'll use another piece of that and spray it. Use the Put the parchment paper over top of it and then iron it. Is that the way I heard you say it? Yes, but don't. Okay, so put the paper down. Put the lace on top and then spray everything. Okay. Don't, and in other words, don't spray it. Like, don't spray it underneath the lace because then it won't come, it won't transfer through. Right. So, trans, or lay this down, lay this down, or crack. When you're ready to do that part, we'll, we'll, I'll show, I'll show you what we mean. All right. So, well, what I need to do is I need to lay this down. Right. Lay this down, spray, yep. and then put the parchment paper on top of it, and then iron. Correct. And you okay. can put, if you have more pieces of lace, I would put two or three of them to see what kind of it, see if anything moves. Well, I I have it, but I don't have a lot of it. Uh, I only ran well, across this lace by yeah. accident. Yeah. No problem then. All right. That's how that turned out. Finally, this was a bigger piece, so. And that's the other side. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Nice. I like that a lot. It definitely looks like cathedral or something. It does yes, not it look does. like iron. Wow. Wow. Cool beans, ladies. Cool beans. All right, now, let's get this part done. Get this this tried out this, this is this is exciting <laughs> all right, yeah, all right so. so there's the paper now put the lace on top of it do it that way well y'all can see a little better now right, spray now. everything down because if this works i'm finding me a doily <laughs> there you go Now put a piece, yeah, let it sink in for a minute or two. Put a piece of, uh, parts on the top of, because I don't know, see, hold on. Is that lace, do you think it'll melt if you iron it? Yeah. Okay, possibly. then put parchment on top of it. You, right now? Let it sink in for a few minutes. Let it sink into the, into the piece of paper. Okay. Very cool, like the close up of the top of the fence. Yeah, it does done uh did, didn't it? <clears throat> So we're trying your own suggestions. I may, she may not have the, the things, but I've got the hands. I'm her hands. Make sure that they don't touch nothing. Marina, be careful. Don't touch nothing you're not supposed to. 
All right. <laughs> Oh, what is that movie? Uh, Idle Hands or um, that? Uh... Oh, it's a funny movie. Back in the uh, 70s and 80s where he cuts his hands off and he puts a chainsaw on his hand. What's that called? The evil hand. It's where the evil hand comes alive and, it, and, it, and it's evil. Oh, what is the name of that movie, guys? Come on. Y'all going to make me ask. Yes. Idle Hands or Idle Minds. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. All right. Time to put the part for the paper on and see what this bad boy does. All right. Here we go. And we're going to do the ironing. Just the regular straight up ironing. Yep. Ooh, that's hot. Well, what time have we got? Seven? Uh, we got a little bit. About an hour and a half. Unless he makes me get off here to go eat or something. <laughs> I had a blueberry muffin earlier. I think I'm good. All right. Almost time for a moment of truth. It's called The Hand. You saw it too? Oh. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Didn't work too well. Maybe if we put it on a piece of uh, regular board, regular paper, it gave yeah. a slight impression. It gave a slight impression. But you know what? I've got top and paper over here. <laughs> Look, it even, even went all the way through. So we don't even have to do nothing to this. So we're going to try this again, ladies. But we're going to try it on a white piece of paper. All right. So we got white paper here. We're going to do this yep. It did. It did copy. It did stain it. Look at that. That's pretty. Use it. Stain it on the other side. No, not the side that you did originally. Do it. Yep. Yeah, that side. Yep. All right. So here we go again, ladies. Let's try it. At first, if you don't succeed, what's the old phrase? Try, try, try again. Try again. There you go. This time, when you put the parchment paper on top of it, lay it right, leave it on the thing. Don't, don't, don't uh, spread it around. Let it sit. But yeah, and let it sit for a few minutes. All right. so now let it sit. Then when you put the par parchment paper on it, let the iron sit on the areas. Okay. Like we were doing originally, like when it bubbles up. Yeah. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna put you're gonna put parchment paper down first. Yeah, but okay. instead of moving the iron around, let it sit on the on the spots where the lace is. Gotcha. Let me see. Do I? Have, is it big enough? Oh, mm, it's just off by just the scotch. Yeah. Turn it. If I had that little one, I could set it on the other side. That's okay. Yeah. I can use a little one to work on smaller projects. So I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I hope you're getting a laugh out of it and and and, and putting your comments in the in the stream. If you have an idea on what we should try, you better spit it out. You know what I always say? Uh, there is never a stupid question. The only stupid question is the one that you don't ask. 
So if you got a question or a comment, you best put it in there because you're going to feel stupid for not doing it because we're sitting here playing. And I don't want you to feel that. So put your comment in the, in the stream. If you're not in this one and you're in Marina's channel, you best make sure you put that comment in her stream. That way she can tell me what you said. When All right. Tried. I'm going to clean your food while we're, we're doing that part. Huh? Food. Food. Did the dinner bell just ring? Dinner was ring, ring, ring. minutes ago. Ah, oh, darn it. Yes, we are all glad to see you here, even though you're just watching and having a fall, uh, having a ball, and just probably laughing, uh, laughing your keisters off at me. I don't care. You will go. You go ahead and laugh. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching, hope you're learning something. So I'm thinking that um, if I, even if I don't get this job or get this job. I'm thinking Thursday night they're going to be like a learning stream where everybody can get in and um, teach everybody something. Give your suggestions out. It'll be just a random a random stream on Thursdays. You never know what you're going to see on Thursday. I think that's how we's going to do that because everybody seems to enjoy themselves while they're in here. So uh, if she ain't doing nothing on Thursdays, me and Marina will do a uh, we'll do a stream yard stream together. And we'll just have some fun and just play. Might come up with another another trick of the trade to peaches. You will be brave, okay. And the brave has spoken. Thank you. I don't care to tell you. My name is Emily Welda. I am from Georgia. Originally from the state of Tennessee. It's where my southern accent comes from originally. So um, I am... 37 years old, going on 38, living like I'm 20. No, wait a minute. No. Living like I'm 36. Darn it. But uh, I am, I'm young at heart, old in mind, and love to craft, and I love to teach people, and I love to make you smile and laugh. And if you didn't learn something while you was here, then I'd be doing the job. All right. Now, Marina, that's on you. I think she just, she's in there. Probably stuffing her mouth full of roast. Not sharing with us. <laughs> I don't know if she's heard me or not. All right. We are going to put this on here and we are going to iron it and we are going to let it sit though. All right. So let's let that, let's get her sat on. Yeah, she's making her family's dinner, so give her a minute to respond. I'm just a scatterbrained blonde that uh, that likes to make you laugh. And if I ever forget something, if you hear me say I'm having an Emily moment, that's what it is. It's where I've forgotten something. And uh, it's actually it was actually given to me by a woman, another woman called Wanda Bailey. I call her Mama Wanda. She every now and again fits in. She listens, but uh, she gave that that a name. Whenever I get something, she thought she said it's an Emily moment, so it's stuck, stuck like glue. I kind of talk a lot, and I'm breathing in coffee fumes, so that might be the reason why I'm chattering on like a like a uh, like a chipmunk. Turn the iron that away. Okay. So lift it up. Turn it the other way. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Suggestion. Hopefully that's what you meant by turning it the other way. I'm hoping he's in there. I don't hear any dishes clacking or anything, so he might not be cooking. He might be waiting on me. And if that's the case, I'll figure out what to cook for dinner. Hang on a minute while that's while that's burning through. <laughs> Let me go check outside my door here.
be good on a night on a really cold day like this. Oh, I smell that. Oh, the length of the lace. I'm sorry. I tried on another one. No, no worries. We'll just we'll finish this like this. Marina, are you still uh, fixing dinner? Yes, I am. I'll just be another minute okay. or so. Go okay, ahead. I was just making sure. I was just making sure. Oh, wow. I don't know if that'll work, but I'm just, I, I did a sneak peek. I did a sneak peek. Uh, but we do have, uh, you'll probably have to use the rest of it. We have some hands to in the box, I believe. They're little tiny onions, but they're dehydrated. They'll pop up. I'll have to get some more minced onions, but uh, yeah, we've got those. We don't have any regular onions. Yeah. She's, she's the one that makes them less. It's not her thing. All right, so let's pull that up. See what happens. And almost like it looks, it looks part of the paper. All right. Oh, see. so the second one worked. Woo. Maybe I haven't, I haven't pulled it up yet. I'm ironing, I'm ironing this out. Let it, I'm getting it dry, and then I'm gonna pull that up just for suspense sake. <laughs> ah. I know, I'm mean. <laughs> All right, then I'll be back. Huh? I'll be no back. peeking. Okay. I didn't see. I didn't see it. I didn't see. I promise. I couldn't get it up. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. This stream is not for adults right, or not for kids right now. Not for kids. Well, it kind of worked. Mm, still not the right one. Mm -mm. So we need to try it on a different sheet of paper. What kind of paper do we need? To try? I'm up here. Hang on. Out of the papers that I had, what do you think we should use? Think we should try it on this envelope? See if it works. We can try it. Let's see. Emily. Yes. Emily. Uh huh. I got an idea. Yes. I got an idea. Spray the envelope. Okay, spray around the lace. Don't spray the lace. I'll try. I can't promise. For some reason, yeah, just try and see if you can spray around the envelope, but not the lace itself. Let's see if there's some coffee on the lace itself that'll transfer through. Uh, well, it is leaking down. You may put the parchment paper on there. Yeah. Oh, shucks. I was in that kitchen and I did not get me any more coffee to. Um, you want me to sit it down, leave it be, or you want to move it around? Better tell me now before I, I can. I, I, I need to move. I guess I'm moving it because she's not telling me. So what I can do there, I'm actually <coughs> do it like that. While I go grab me a bottle of water because I'm probably gonna have to make some more coffee things. It's getting low. So give me a second. Okay, 
Let's hope this one will work. Chrissy Essence says, lay strips of fabric or yarn down straight or zigzaggy, then put paper on top, spray coffee, lay parchment paper on top, then iron. Yeah, Chrissy, it's not working. So we're trying a different method. I had to get me some hot water. Ugh. My strips of fabric we yarn down straight or zigzaggy. Yeah, I was like telling you that it doesn't work. Then put paper on top, spray coffee, like parchment paper on top. So you said that method doesn't work, Marina? That's basically what you've been doing. Fabric or yarn might work because it doesn't absorb the coffee. But the, the lace yeah. definitely is not working because it's absorbing all of the coffee and transferring it right below. Right. You find me a patient paper. You know what might work, though, is if you use lace that is not, um, yeah, that didn't work. Um, it's stuck to the parchment paper. Yeah, it might be lace that doesn't absorb the coffee to transfer it down. That could be it. Yeah, Chrissy, you're right. It needs more of a solid bottom. So maybe like a plastic piece of lace. I don't have plastic lace. Yeah, neither do I. I'm on the hunt for it. I don't even know Somebody what plastic did. lace is. Somebody did a, um, like, you know those uh, doilies that are made out of plastic lace? I am so desperate to get a piece of that. We cannot get that in Canada. Amazon has it for like a hundred bucks. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. It cannot be that expensive. All right. I'm about to make me some more coffee stains so y'all get to see the process. I had to go to the kitchen to get some hot water. I use great value, classic roast, instant coffee. Now this is piping hot water in this little jar or this little thing here piping hot water now i'm going to use just a piece of paper I'll make it into a funnel kind of doesn't have to be perfect you have a funnel and you do this wonderful for you uh put your coffee in first And just kind of get it down in your bottle. Like I said, it all depends on the amount that you put in here about about how dark it's going to be. And I like mine kind of dark. And it's still pouring. I'm showing you my secrets, guys. Y'all better still buy my coffee stain paper now. <laughs> well, this isn't necessarily how I do it. I have a different method. Wait, I thought Y'all that was the whole point of this live stream is to show people what we do. Well, I mean, that's true. Just to teach. So they can do it at home. But anyway, you use Great Value Instant Coffee, the El Cheapo brand. It doesn't have the D store brand. Now... I've got that coffee in there, and I'm kind of moving it around in the liquid that was already in there, but you don't necessarily have to have that. But I'm adding adding water in the spray bottle. Now, leave a little bit of room. Place your hand over the top, or if you got a cat mixture on it, shake that bad boy up. Dissolve that stuff. Remember, the hot water is what dissolves that faster than the cold water. So you'll have all that goodness in there. Now you can put your spray lid or spray bottle lid on. It's okay, we don't have to have some in there. You can use onion powder. Don't need a lot of this. That's just okay. There we go. Sorry. 
teaching the honey how to cook and use spices. All right, so there you go. There is your, your coffee stain. Perfect. All right, now. Let's see. Um... Just do it normally, and um, it's not working with that method. I'll teach you, but don't you do it. No, I'm kidding when I say that. You you do it the way you want to. All right, see. I'm going to try this. I got a little bit of that lace. Hopefully, I ain't burning it. It's fortunate. If not, don't get. Yeah, don't leave it on for thirty seconds. Maximum ten, and then lift it up. I don't know if that worked or not. If not, we'll have to just figure out another way. All right. That kind of worked. But not as... See? That turned out a lot better, though. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try that again on this side. And see if it works better. If I did put a fresh batch of coffee stain in there, let's try that. You're not going to be able to see it though because it's on top of the other coffee stain. We'll see. We'll just. It's a trial and error. Yeah, you're playing. Yeah. I'm exploring and doing experiments that way. People. We'll know what to do and what not to do. Well, Listen to what Stacy does all the time, and then I get the, the mm, well. No, okay, in here, and it's hot. He can't get it. I didn't hear a word you said, Marina. I'm sorry. I said, isn't that what Stacy does all the time? She plays around and then has accidents. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That teaches you what to do and what not to do. Well, that kind of sort of worked. Look, I don't, you, I don't know if you can see it, but kind of did. Yeah, it might be getting full. I mean, it's stiff. I can actually use this in that journal. I'm going to make with all these pretty papers. We can probably put this in as a belly band or, or a bookmark or something in there. So we're not going to throw this away. We're going to keep this. We're going to put it in that dirt. I'm going to put it with all that pretty. Oh, baby! Sorry if I'm hollering. I'm going to get his attention. Get loud, Mel. Good. This is all right. All right. I know when I need to get out. <laughs> Because <clears throat> that's the one y'all met yesterday, Ruben. I had to dry this, and so I might cover up a little bit of that, but you know, that's all that's the way it goes. Somewhere in the way. Some, uh, Somewhere along the way, huh? with somewhere along the way with making dinner and everything, I didn't see how your crinkly paper came out. The one that was all crinkly. Did it work out or did it straighten out? Crinkly paper. What are you talking about, crinkly paper? The tissue paper? No, I thought you had a, or I don't know if it was tissue, but I thought you had a piece of paper that was all crinkle. It was all, um... 
Um, I'll show you the pages that we did do. Oh. Looks like we got to glue some down. Wait a minute, I might be able to do that. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I got to fix it. Woo! That's hot. That stained that real pretty, though. You can't see it, but look. Look, I see a face right there. You see him? I was watching Stacy's stream the other day where uh, she made her uh, her tags. Wendy's mm -hmm. asking to join the group. All right, so we have that back together. Um, this the crinkle paper you were talking about, the one that we tried with the lace? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is you had a piece of paper that um, was already crumpled up. Oh, that. This, the, this stuff. Yeah, did it strain it out or was is it still crumbled? Oh, it's it, it it was printed that way. See, it was printed that way. Oh, okay. Don't you? It's not good. crumpled at all. Okay, no, no, I see, I see what you're saying now. I gotta be careful. I don't want to burn my knuckles on the iron. Yeah, see? it's good. printed like that. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean now. Got a bit of accomplished. We've still got all kinds of stuff to try with. So. All right, so let's try out this vintage etiquette book page that I have now. All right, I'm just going to lightly spray it. And leave it sit for a minute. Ooh, I can smell the vintage come out of that. Shoo. This is what I made Lisa's uh, paper trim from, is this etiquette book. I'm gonna have to clean my desk up. Even though I'm, I've got this sheet down protecting my desk from coffee. I'm still getting coffee fridge. All right, now. Marina, did you mute yourself? I did, Emily. I'll be back in a minute. All right. All right, so that was two different ways to do that. I did the leaving press and then the iron as soon as it it's down. So that's two different ways. Almost looks like fish or a pair of legs at the beach. I don't know. What's that look like to you? A pair of legs at the beach? More likely. Hmm. A do-it-yourself dance. Yes. I like that look. All right, Miss Rebecca, thank you for coming in.
Oh, wow. I think I'm in love with this new way to do this. And I love the way this stains it. Look at that. Gorgeous. That was the first way. And this is the next way. Look at that. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Still has the... look to it and everything and it's dry it is completely dry no waiting that is so cool let's do that again i'll show you how i did that last time yeah that, that turned out nice watch look this is what i did look marina i know it's the same thing i'm doing spraying it on but i'm not letting it sit look what i'm doing i'm hovering over the thing and letting it kind of heat up Yep. Kind of mixing it in on the page. Oh. And let it sit for a minute. Oh, that looks cool. And then rubbing it and drying it in. Oh, that looks cool. I like that method too. Woo. I just learned that. I just experimented. So, ladies, there you go. There's another way to do that and make your page look it absolutely be, gorgeous. It could be because the book paper is a little bit thicker. So well, I'm gonna try it. I'll try it on a different piece that way and see if it works on all sheets. Yeah, all because paper. if you on regular the regular paper that you were using at first, you may not be able to do that because the heat stick the paper sticks to the iron and ends up ripping. Yeah. So it went from plain Jane, even vintage, to even more vintage. From this to this. Yeah, I think I like the yeah. coffee guy. All right, let's do the other side again. Give it a good spray. Go over it, just hover over it and kind of move that around. And to cover it, give it that look, give it a minute to soak in the paper. Yeah, you're going to have a heck of an iron to get clean up. Yummy. Wow. And then go over it and just kind of move it around. Keep it moving. Don't let it stick or you're going to have your paper sticking. I'm not sure I like that method though because it's it gets like a full, full coverage, but it, it's Kind of cool on its own, too. Mm -hmm. Makes it look very vintage. Very. Yeah. I mean, back in the day kind of vintage. Remember to hit those thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. If you're enjoying this, if you're learning, please hit those thumbs up and leave us a kind comment if you're watching the review. Like I said, I will have some of these prints ready, and I will have a kit put together um, with these beautiful pages. So, I'm looking for it in the next auction, which is February 6th at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Gorgeous, isn't it? All right, now, let's try this on some of these card bases. Let's see what this what this same effect does on these card bases. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Get it good and so move it around. See what happens. Let it sit for a minute. Then go through and iron it.
Keep your iron moving. Don't let it sit still or you're going to burn your paper. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Hi, daughter. I hear you in the background. And there we go. There is our card base. Ooh, and that's hot to the touch. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that turned out. Gorgeous. All right. We now know that that works on card bases. Now... We have an old Scantron here. This is very thin, like very thin paper. I know that you all remember these back in school. You used to take your tests on. Spray it down, give it a minute. Give it a minute, give it a minute. Now we're going to spread that out. Spread it out. Don't know how well that's going to work since it's really, really thin paper. But you never know. We are trying it out on different styles of paper. Let me know if you guys would like to have a kit of these papers from the same, like, just basically around about the same style of papers. If you all would like to have a kit of these papers put together in our next auction, leave me a comment. Right, I mean, it didn't stain it up too too well. But you know what? It stained it better than some. Of course, if you can cut this up, make it in a long tag. You know, in a lot of cases, Emily, that's what you're going to get when you copy stain it anyway. Or you know what? Better yet, if you want it more, do it again. Spray it again. Yeah. Spray it again. Do it twice. Yeah. Gives it a different. Let it, let it pool in some areas. So spray some areas pretty heavy. Yeah, that's it. So leave it for a minute because that yep. heat from where we ironed it before, it's going to soak up into that. So yep. it will actually disintegrate a lot of that uh, water and will stain it that way too. Yeah. 
in the unit right now. Sorry, another cooking lesson. <laughs> All right, go one back over it. I'm not technically setting this down on the paper. I'm kind of touching it lightly with it. There you go, see? Sometimes you do have to do them twice. And with this method, it becomes really quick. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm liking this. <laughs> yeah. There's my mama, Wanda. That's the lady I was talking about. I knew she's going to be in here. Hey, Wanda. That's my mama, Wanda. You should see the big old green I have on my face right now. Oh, I, I like that that double method. That came out really cool. Did the other side? Get, did the other side? Huh? Did the other side get? No. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll leave it like that because that's lightly stained, and you can turn yeah. it over and choose which side. <clears throat> Oh, and Miss Neri Brewer's in here. I didn't even know she's in here. I see. I had some lurkers. I had some moderators in the background. I knew they'd been here. Hey, Mary. So, hello, everybody that has stuck around, and I hope you're enjoying the, the learning and the teaching and the having the fun, having of the fun today or tonight. And if you all like it, we're going to make it a, we'll make it a, uh, a every night Thursday because I wanted to do a live stream tonight because I didn't get to do one earlier. But you know, yeah, <laughs> kind of like into that. It's all right, we'll do this and we'll spray it on heavy this time. Yeah, in certain spots, leave it heavy. All right. Let it sit for at least a minute. Can I put some water in this blue one? Maybe if we get it, we get speckled, like a speckly. Sorry, I keep a lot of my waters and my stuff in Powerade bottles that I empty. Better to re reduce, reuse, and recycle instead of uh, reduce and waste. Come on, come through there. There we go. There we go. Spray a little bit of water to come, kind of loosen it up for the top. Marina, mm -hmm. um, Wanda's saying hello. I know, I already said hello to her. Oh, I must have been zoning. I must have been zoning. <laughs> I was into the zone. I gotta wipe my phone off so I don't have to see chat for a minute. I got whooped all over it. There we go. My nose is running like a zip. All right, you think that's good enough? Yep, it's been sitting there for quite a while. Okay. 
Yeah, let it bubble up. And I'm not pressing it down to the paper because if you do that, it'll stick. Yeah. It's kind of doing it lightly. However. All right, we got that in. Let it sit for a minute. Let it absorb. And then we'll go back through and we'll iron that. That actually turned out a lot better. Yep, it did. Because you let it sit in and then you, when you put the water over it, it concentrated on spreading that uh, pool, which looked really nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that you'd noticed that. <laughs> what I was doing. I was watching. Dinner's finished. My daughter's home. I'm all good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got about eh, about an 45 minutes, I guess. I got to get off of here. That way I can join in with Miss Lizzie. Or go into her stream because I told her I'd try my best. She said to go ahead and stream. I was like, no, nah, I need to get this done before. She goes, because I said I'd try my best to be in on her stream. I was requested to be there. Yeah, Wanda, we're not going to use that iron on clothes for now. Otherwise, we'll have to, because you can see the iron is now totally black. Oh, yeah, that, this is not a, an ironing, ironing, iron to iron clothes. See what I did? I yeah, really, I yeah, you did, it, yeah. Right, let it sit for a minute. Oh, well. I mean, if you're going to iron clothes with that iron, that has to be squeaky clean again. Just after after it's dry, Emily, use a little bit of um, our glitter glue and, and tack that piece back down. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's rolled up right here, but I can take that off. Yeah. There we go. That's dry now. Give it a little bit of oomph again. Yeah, that came out really nice. Yeah, I can see Steampunk written all over this stuff. <laughs> I am dying, but that's going to have to wait till March. You're what? I said Steampunk's going to have to wait for March. I got too many projects on the go. I've got too many ideas on the go. What are you talking yeah, exactly. about? Exactly. That's what I mean. Same thing. Oh. All right. Now, I'm not even bothering with this side because it actually stained it up pretty good. It's seeping through from whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there's another piece I want to try, and it's a thicker piece. Where is it? There it is. There's that thick piece right there that had the, the rough edge. Almost like that vintage book page, but it's not. It's got a it's got a um, texture to it. It's like a texture paper. I don't know if it'll pick up. Spray it, spray it on the side. Is it textured on both sides? Yeah. Spray it on the side that's got that black marker. Yeah. That way it looks like it's part of the actual spray. It's actually got a little red in it. It's, it's yeah. Huh. That marker's got a little red in it. But it, it should, if I'm correct, it should become part of the paper with the coffee dye. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave my iron sit down right there for a bit. Yep. Okay. Let that. It's not going to soak in a lot, a lot, because of the texture of the paper. That one you may have to actually do both sides may not sink into the paper if it's really thick. Thank you. 
<laughs> that looks freaking cool. Rhonda's asking if that's linen paper. It might be. It looks really thick. It's very, it's, I'm not exactly sure because look, it didn't even budge the other yeah. side. It could be watercolor paper or anything like that. That's why it's I don't know. It, was a, it was in a stationary box. It came with envelopes. Yeah. I think it's like really thick stationary paper. All right, Vanessa, you have a good night. She says just got to get going. Thank you, Vanessa, for coming in. Uh, for the new people that just came in, in case you're wondering, um, I'm streaming both on Emily's channel and on mine, but you can't see the comments on both. You can see the video on both, but not the comments. So that's the reason why, if you're wondering where Vanessa is, she's on my stream. Right. You too, Vanessa. Have a good night. This is a bit harder to dry, actually. It, I, I got a feeling it might be either like a cotton blend that's really thick. So, because right, yeah. so that's how it turned out. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. So see, with that one, you'd have to do the back, the other side. Yeah. See, with these little bottles, you have a little bit of control of where it's going. I like to use these little bottles. But if you are intending to use a lot, spray a lot. Night use, one big, use one of the big bottles like this. You can make a lot and put a lot in here. Going good. So I hope you guys try these techniques, but it takes it takes trial and error and practice to do this. Now don't feel like if you if you can't ace it right then and then, right then and there, that you're a failure. You are not. It just takes time and practice. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Well, it this time. Yeah, I think your method is normally just popping everything in the oven. No, I spray it, but just, I use a different oh, way. Not, well, right. exactly how it is. Yeah. Yeah, I use a hair dryer and it moves it around the page, but I've never tried it like this and I think I like this better and it's more relaxing. It is very, it's, it's a lot more relaxing. Now what I'm going to do, I just spray this at the top and I'm doing a drippage. We'll see what that does. You know how papers have that looks like rips from old age? I'm going to try that. Looks like water or ink was spilled on it. There you go. Almost looks like a cup of coffee or something was spilled on it. 
I don't know, but I see something in that image. Might be steampunk. That one's definitely steampunk. I'll have to go back and watch the video. I'll hold it up a little bit, and I will. We'll take go a look at it. Watch. Let's take a look at it. With that line in between, it looks like an explosion from a a tunnel, like a some kind of a tunnel coming down or something. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination, but that looks so freaking cool. I don't know. It's like what I've seen in Stacy's in Stacy's tag. You might see something that I don't. I'll have to go back and look at it. That's why I'm holding it up for so long. That way I can see it. All right. So that's the back sign. Almost looks like Homer Simpson. I see an eyeball here. I see an eyeball here. I see his nose right here. And I see his mouth down here. Does anybody see Homer Simpson? Now you're stretching it. I, if, you're, if you're going to stretch it, might as well be Fred Flingstone with that big nose. <laughs> 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 and then now we have the other side. Oh, now I'm seeing something else. Like I said, it looks like, a you know, those, those oil tunnels or the water tunnels that are shooting water on the end of it. That's what that yeah. looks like. It looks like it's, it, hold, like it's upside down to me, but the other, the way you were holding it before, that's what it looked like. An hour. I know. I'm. I'm watching the clock, please. Um, well, an hour. Heart in the Let's left see. bottom. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, oh, and it's an hour before I gotta get off here. Well, I gotta be off here in about forty-five minutes. So I gotta be ready. I gotta be in there and at least stream. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Loud here. All right, so let's try this again. I got one more sheet of that. Now I'm going to use some water to kind of thin this out and move some, move some stuff. Ruben, you can't get up here with this heat. You're going to end up burning that little tail of yours. I don't care. You're not getting up here. He's like asking, why? Wow. Emily, on that piece, don't move the iron. Like, don't move it around. Like, lift and uh, how do I explain this? Put the heat on a spot, but lift it completely off, and then put it on the next spot. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know how you've been hovering, hovering over the papers and swishing the water, the coffee dye around? Yeah. Don't do it this way. Don't do it that way. Like, put it down. Not all the way, just the same way, but don't swish it. I don't know if I'm explaining it properly. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Lift it up completely off the paper and put it down the next spot. Because basically what I'm seeing is that it keeps the the colors in the area. It doesn't spread it all around and make it all one. I kind of like that. Look at that. It's going to take a minute to draw. It's all, leave it like that. all experiment, experimental. Huh? It's all experimental. Oh, yeah. We're experimenting. We're trying different methods. Did you see what Rhonda wrote? She says your pink yeah. cat is driving her dogs nuts. Right, I seen that. 
My dog can't make up his mind whether he's going to stay upstairs with my daughter or is he going to come down. In a few minutes ago, uh, he's barking at her. And I, you know what? And I might know why, too. He's barking at her. Could be he's out of water again. Yes, he is. Stop. He needed water. He had water. I don't know, but I see an empty bowl. I don't know what he I might have to hit this with the heat gun so it'll dry like that. And it, it turns on before I can even get it out. Huh, did you give up or use the uh, the gun? Huh? I said, did you give up and you're, you're using your... Uh, no, your I didn't want to spread it anymore. I'm going to put another layer on and I wanted to dry the first layer first. Ah, uh, okay. And I wanted to keep the spots on there, you see? Yep. Friendly! Hi, Lise. Welcome. Now yeah, I could probably finish that with it. Dude, that's probably going to put a little bit of a... Uh... Oh, Lord, I'm going to have a time cleaning that. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> All right, it's just seasoned. I'd leave it exactly like that. I would not put any more in it. I think it looks great. Ruben, loud mouth, come here. You're going out there with your daddy. I can't take it. Uh, you been trying to be with me. Did you hear me? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hum. Ho oh, hums. So don't put another layer on there? Nah, I'd leave it exactly as is. I do just the other side. Okay, so here's another thing I'm gonna do. I am going to thin out the color by adding the water first. And watch what it does. I've done this method a couple of times when I'm coffee stain. So I'm adding water first. And so this is what this is going to do. Watch. You use less coffee. Yep. Acts like a stain. Yeah. And let that sit for a minute. Let it go where it wants to go. And we're going to do the same method of the of the bubbling. <clears throat> no longer. Oh Lord, I'm scraping that. Ugh, that's gonna be bad. I just get my I just get my stone whenever it it dries and that off all right now let's try it and see what happens
what happened? Yep. It's not as dark. Exactly. But it's the still it's still the same effect as what we did before. So now we just gotta iron it. I through. think I think I like that method better. <laughs> you use less coffee. And it's yeah, a lot it's lighter. Strong. This is what I've had to do to preserve. Like if I if I was running a little coffee, this is what I'd have to do to make coffee stain paper, but yet still produce paper. Tomorrow. We should try that. Did you use up all the food coloring you bought to make your sprays last week? It is still sitting right now. So why don't you put a couple of drops in with the one that's um, plain water? Mix it, mix it up and see what happens. All right, what colors? I don't care. Choose. Do red. I don't have much left because when I was making my purples, I used quite a bit of my red. And this stuff is not cheap. This stuff right here. Oh, no, no. Either that or drop it right, like drop it right in. Don't use that much water though. Or is that going to be okay? Well, I can pour it back in the bottle. I got it right here. Yeah, pour some of that. Like, don't make it that watery. All right, that's, yeah, that's good. This will be good for my Valentine's journal anyway, if I don't use it all. There you go. Mama says it looks like a tree's in the forest in a misty sunrise morning. Exactly, yes it does. I only put three drops in there. Okay, see what happens. All right. Which side uh, should we spray? Use, use a fresh piece. Um, I'll have to find some. I don't know. If that, I think this was my last, but let me look. No, for any, any paper. Copy paper, too. Oh. Oh. So use coffee stain paper that's already done or spray it and then coffee stain. No. What are you talking about? Okay. Do two. You can do two of them. One, you could try coffee stain paper. Throw the red on it. Or find a fresh piece of paper. All right, so let's do this. Let's use this card back. There you go, okay. There we go. So, let's do the coffee stain first. All right, now, you want the, the red dye on here next? Sure, why not? Hang on, I gotta get the... You may not, yeah. <laughs> there, it's starting. Right, you're not going to get much. It's, yeah, it's no, do it on the way. white. Do it on the white background for at first. So it's very light. I'm, I probably yeah, need to add. You need to add some more drops of the. Um, you know what? I was going to say either drop it into the um, thing, but I drop drop one drop on the paper itself. And you can mix it around when you're heating it up. Like pick up the paper and, and let that that piece flow, flow through. That's it. There you go. Let it flow. May have been. I let the rest of it drop back into the bottle. Don't you love playing without making a mess? <laughs> All right. I'm going to spray this coffee stain one since it's kind of soaked in now. I'm going to see what happens. It gives it a slight hue. The, very excess, very the excess out of, out of that, uh, okay, the, yeah, that one, pour it onto the coffee stain one. There's not going to be much. It's enough. I 
There you go. Now do the heating thing? Now do the heating thing. Oh, Mama says, ha ha, I don't care. Choose. Use red. <laughs> Ooh, Marina, you have got to try this. Look at that. I got, I've got red dye that I can, I can play with. Oh, I've got red writ dye. I think I'm going to try. Uh, yeah, that's the one I'm going to try. Gonna try use. The water soaked up into that one, so. Uh uh, still looks good. Uh uh. Nah, you did it too nope. soon. Yep. So here's what I can do with that. We can fix that. Let's go yep. ahead and peel that up. So peel those off and then throw some coffee dye on it. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to do. Either that or spray it again, but I don't think the red's going to come out through. I don't think it's strong enough. No, I'm going I'm to spray it with coffee and see what it turns out to look like. Makes makes it almost like a peekaboo type of thing. Yep. Perfect Imperfect Craft says, she's new here, but dropping Kool-Aid, dry Kool-Aid onto the paper, then spray it with water. It turns out cool, too. Oh, I can just imagine that. I've done head. that, actually. I've actually done that, but I've never really put it online. The when I was first experimenting. That, that method, though, I can see us using a lot of Kool-Aid just for the spray oh, yeah. Because they're easy to buy. Spray. They're what? 50 cents, 25 cents a piece? Yeah. Don't spray, don't spray the cool the, the first, yeah. Yeah, don't spray Yeah, I'm going to stop. I was just spraying the holes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this these are a little bit different. They're not they're gonna pick up that's so. paper, so this needs to be set to dry. Don't yeah. even go across it with your with your iron. Well you can't even, you would, the way you would dry that is just leave the leave the iron on it for 30 seconds. Yeah. We'll just try it. That. Uh, that's it. Leave it on there for 30 seconds. Okay, now do it the other way. Cross it over. Yeah. <laughs> These cards would be really cool as ATCs. I'm thinking, hey Marina. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this might turn into a steampunk Valentine. What do you think? What do you think? I love it. I love it. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do with these papers. We're going to turn it into a steampunk Valentine journal. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. Oh my gosh. So I'll even use some of your papers if you see it me in this. And oh my gosh, it's going to be epic. Vintage steampunk Valentine. Yes, ma'am. Movie iron. Oh, whoa. Badass. Okay, good idea with the with the um food dye. Huh? I said good idea with the food dye. Oh yeah. I really like that. That yeah. is cool. Adding the coffee dye was just perfect. So I'm going to leave that like that because that actually looks pretty damn cool. And that too. Let's just leave it alone. Yep, I would do that. Leave them alone. Oh, Lee said to make the journal live. I'm going to have to, if I do that... Marina's gonna have to take some time because she's gonna she's gonna be starting one too. So um, we'll plan it. I'm gonna be making junk journal. She's probably gonna be making an album. 
so we'll plan it and we'll get it we'll get it to we'll get it started soon lease and that way you guys can see it how about that only if marina agrees to that <laughs> as soon as i can get everything else done i am not starting another project until i finish all of these well, I've got to start this one because I've actually got to scan the images that, I, that I'm wanting. All right, I'm using the... Let it pool. Let it pool in one area. This is notebook paper. And the heat from that, from where I ironed it, is going to soak in, make it soak in a little bit. Well, the heat also from the coffee that's on the iron should transfer. Yeah. So what I'll do is I will uh, start doing some uh, researching and printing and doing some of my uh, my scanning on some of the images that I have here. And I will get that journal, those pieces and everything together. And I will discuss with Marina on how uh, some designs and stuff. Oh, nice. I have. Uh, I actually went to my uh, my little thing I go to today, and I grabbed about six, seven boxes of those Easter egg dye things, and uh, I'm going to take the pellets out. That's why why I got them. Huh. And the wire things, I can make stamps out of this. All right, so I'm going to spray the tea or not tea, but the coffee on here. Not too much. That's Hang on. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to do the hover, the hover round thing. Yep. All right. This is notebook paper, guys. So we don't know what this is going to turn out to look like because we have not tried it with notebook paper. It should dry quick. Remember, guys, I'm not setting this straight up on the page. I'm setting it. I'm, I'm not setting it. I no, am hovering. hovering I'm over setting it. it directly on the page. That's turning out pretty cool. All right, now I'm pressing it down because it's starting to dry. Wow, I love the crinkles in the paper. I know. Right. so that's how that page turned out oh my goodness guys look at that that is beautiful just imagine the colors the the pages that we can make off of that my goodness yeah, same way as my uh, graph paper turned out you sent me some of that didn't you i think so yes come on let me look I'm looking at I'm looking at the Valentine's stuff right now. <laughs> Ouch, Dai Dai. You trying to kill yourself? What happened? You just came in from gardening outside with the hottest day of the year. She's at 84.5 Fahrenheit. Ooh. Okay. That is hot. I got to get off of here in about 20 minutes or less, though, so. because it is 8:21. No. I'm gonna be watching Wendy. 
I told you she requested my she requested my presence precisely. So here in about mm, 10, 15, 20 minutes, I gotta get off here. No, I'm gonna paint over that. I'm gonna do a a. a Emily, yes. On this side, do just the red. Don't put any coffee dye. That's what I was thinking. I, you're reading my mind. You just came in from outside. I've been oh my gosh, Dada, you need to take care of yourself. I'm gonna soak it down. I hope everybody is having fun and learning and just chilling out with us and experimenting with us or crafting along with us. Hey, there's a desk there, Emily. I'm trying to scoop my chair up into the side of my desk and it ain't going anywhere. I look down and I'm scooting my chair into the leg of my desk. Go away. Yay. <laughs> All right, have I tried I have I tried all the papers that I pulled out? All except for one. I've got the graph paper -y kind of stuff that I have not tried. All right, how long do I need to let this sit? I'd do it now because it's thin paper. It's gonna soak right through. Oh that's right. Dada is six hours behind us. It, yeah. No, she's more like 12 hours ahead of us. It's that she's on the other side of the world. So while we're in winter, she's in summer. Oh, I gotcha. Well, we're about to be in sun, or spring. If uh, she is, spring is still a long way around. And not for us. It starts in like mid-March. Yeah, that's still a month and a half away. Mother Nature is going to have a couple of stars up her uh or sleeve by the time we hit mid March. Yeah, she's gonna hide some, but here in Georgia, it if you don't like the weather, wait about ten minutes and it changes for you. Pretty much. Wow. Look at the starburst looking effect. Yeah, see how the coffee dye underneath it came right through? Or it could yeah. have been from on the iron, who knows? But it came right through the paper. That I said she hopefully has sweated off town uh, today. <laughs> I'd say if it was that hot, I'd be like taking every article and closing off of me going, go ahead. I'm ready. Get me in that outer body tan, man. Shoot. Put some tan and lotion on. Let her get you. All right, look at that. Yep, that came out beautiful. It's funny how when I was younger and we were in school and if I'd ruin a piece of paper with coffee or anything on it, it would be in the garbage. Now I save yeah. all the Now we were like, what were we thinking? Yep. <laughs> You could have used that, man. And with all those books that I read as a young child, if I had just saved some of those, we'd be ripping them apart. Right? All right. Tina says, I'll still be freezing in March. I still had some snow at the end of April, beginning of May last year. See? Wow. See? I was right. All right. So I'm going to try a little bit something different. I'm going to grungy. I'm going to do a grungy style. And, I'm, and I want to do the red. Yeah, I don't know what the grungy red. style says. I mean, the grungy style means. So you're going to have to teach me that one. I am going to do a little bit. I mean, just a drop. Drop. Of green. And we're going to put a little bit of red in there. Which will hopefully make like a deep brown, maybe. All right, maybe.
Is this the only time they are allowed to make a mess? Who, me? Just I make a mess all the time. In general. I make a mess all the time. What you talking? <laughs> I just clean it up real quick. You just don't see it. <laughs> You see that? More coffee stains. Yep. Yeah. I added blue and green, which I mixed to make like a darker brown. It didn't mix here, but that's okay. And then I added um I added more spray, moved it around, and then added more coffee spray. Which makes it a little bit on the grunge side. Now let's do the Not peeling, uh, the sort of what I wanted it to do, so I can add some more spray to it. <laughs> All right, let it go. Marina. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. But it looks like you picked up a lot of the uh, coffee stain instead of the food dye. I wanted it like a darker brown. You see the spots yeah. here? That's what I wanted. That is what I was going for. It's like a darker, grungy, <clears throat> a grungier brown. I don't know. Grungy look to me maybe is to take like... Um, coffee grinds that are just barely wet and then spreading it on the paper type of thing. All right. I just got the notice that Lizzie's going on in 30 minutes. So uh, we need to wrap it up. All right. So we got that. I'm going to leave. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yep. That came out beautiful. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave that to dry because it's still a little bit damp. I'm going to leave this to dry flat over here. That way I can use it in the journal that we're going to make together, I'm guessing. All right, let's, uh, let's do another one. Um, let's use up a lot of this red that's in this container here. This is a quick crafting. Marina, that's your
your TV? Maybe upstairs. Like I said, my daughter is home now, so. Uh, not now. We forgot that red just a little bit deeper. Maybe. That I like, that one I like a lot. Oh, you watch Lizzie too? Well, I'll be in there as soon as I get done here. When I get cleaned up, I'll be going into my room, well, my bedroom, watching, uh, well, getting my headphones. I have to watch my headphones. Yeah, I'm going to shut everything down as soon as I finish the stream. I'm going to lay down and watch it. Alrighty, again, guys, before I forget, don't forget that we're having an auction on February 6th at 5.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time. That's p.m., not a.m. So I hope to see you guys there. And if you are new, please be subscribed to the channel if you want to purchase. And you must be a part of our Facebook group, Creative Jewels by Emily. It would be wonderful. You must have PayPal. Ooh, that one came out really nice, Emily. Mm -hmm. Letting that deeper red sink in actually worked. Yeah. When I when I dropped the yeah. when I dropped the dial there perfectly. Wondering how um liquid ink would work on that. I should play around and see how that works. So I've got like three boxes. Hang on a minute. Over. We might be able to play. Hang on. What color? I don't care. Um, I'm not talking. I've got alcohol ink, something similar to like Tim Holtz one, but it's made by Lu Liquidex. Yeah, that stuff there. That's Bombay ink. Yeah, that type of stuff is what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to get a file folder for just the steam. All right. Let's finish this and we'll, we'll start another one. We just got to be quick with it. All right. I'm not going to do any more on to that. Let it dry naturally. Yeah. Set that right there. All right. Now, I'm going to um, get another piece of that exact paper. I got a whole pad of it right here. It's just like thicker, thicker paper. All right, cord. Spray it down right. with the uh, pink mixture first. Huh? Spray it down with the pink mixture first. Yeah, and then drop the liquid ink. All right. Now we got that saturated. Now this is a uh, the Bombay uh, Dr. Yep. Phil, uh, Phil Martin's Bombay Crimson India Ink. Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Something similar to that, but mine's by Liquid. I think it's Liquitex or something. But it's the exact same stuff. Oh, did y'all see that? Wow. I wouldn't even heat that. I would leave that one exactly alone like that. It needs one more drop towards the bottom. Yeah, perfect. Actually, no, try to heat that and see what happens. Oh, heat that, it with the iron or the uh, heat I would do it with the iron because that's what we're playing with. Do the whole ring me method. See what happens. Oh, it's, it's moving from, uh, it's got a little bit of the stain on the iron, which is good. Which is good. It's coming, it's transferring through. Oh, wow.
that's definitely going into your Valentine's album. Definitely. Yeah, the, the, that Inya ink is perfect. It's the exact same. It's the exact uh, consi cons consistency. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. All right. That's going to have to dry naturally because that is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Right. Now that we had we have found a good play toy, I think I have enough time for one more, and then I'll have to wrap it up. All right, so let's try this same technique on some just regular typing paper. All right, so spray it down. This is just your regular topping paper that you can get in a pack at Walmart. Nothing fancy. Spray her down. Get your ink. The hands are going to be dyed for tomorrow's mixed media mashup. <laughs> and remember, guys, tomorrow at possibly around 5, we're going to be doing a mixed media mashup, and we are going to be playing with our new toy. I'm in game tomorrow, so I can't play. I know. I know that's an even number. You know what? That's true. I'm always tempted to tell you to just leave that one alone. Don't even heat it. Leave that one right alone and do another one. I can't move it. <laughs> and I don't have a table in here that I could go up and above it. You can't that's on it. top of paper. That's uh, yes, on type of paper. Ah, heat it with your heat gun. Hit that, hit that one with the heat gun. Don't hit it with the iron. It'll take away all those beautiful flowers on that paper. I'm having to heat it far away because I don't want it spreading. I could probably scan this one. It's just too pretty. Yeah, once once you get it set on the paper, then you can iron it. But right now, yeah, just dry it up a bit. If I can get this to dry the puddle up, I can actually lift it up and dry it. Look at that. You see what's happening? Yep. I'm looking. I'm watching it. Oh, it's burnt back my hand of my iron. Oh. Once you got it semi dry, then you can hit it with the iron. But right now, because you don't want it spreading that much. Either that or let it dry naturally once you can move it. And you know what? You didn't spray any coffee dye on it, but because there's coffee dye on the on the fabric, it transferred through onto the paper. Yeah. This is freaking awesome. I hope everybody likes the stream. Gives me a thumbs up for this one. <laughs> I've worked my butt off to show you some really pretty stuff now. <laughs> 
Well, it's more like experimenting, but anyway. Admit it. This is fun for you. It's not work. Oh, yeah. It's, it's fun because I get to create and figure out how to make things pretty and, re uh, and, and duplicate it. Oh, that'll never be duplicated. Oh, no. I can try, though. I can try. <laughs> I'm not even going to do anything to the back. Nothing. Nope. Leave it as is. But you can e iron the back. Don't iron the front. Just iron that part to get it finished drying. Well, this is soaked, so it's not going to get dry. Got it. So it'd be best to let it like whenever I get done with the stream to air yeah, out this piece right mean. here. And uh, I might be able to. I don't know. That almost that made it like centers of the flower. Yeah, that's what I said. I think that's, that's the best of all of them. I'm being paged for supper. It's 842. I know. I'm, I got to get off of here. <laughs> All right, I could probably iron that. Oh, crap. I did exactly what you said not to. That's what I said. Do it on that side. That's it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now that would be a journal cover in the making if you could do it the same way. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Me do something the same twice, you out your mind. <laughs> well, I mean, there's some things that I can duplicate, but not this. All righty, guys, let's take a very quick, um, a very, very quick walkthrough of the uh, the items that we did get done before I get off of here. All right, I have my iron unplugged, so please, after you're done with your iron, please unplug it and turn it off, or turn it off and unplug it. Fire hazard. <laughs> All right. Let me find the end of the pool. Right, unplug. There we go. Unplugged and off. We had so much fun today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. All right. So that was the very last one there. All right. And then we had the, uh, the fiber looking um, paper, which is rolled up. We can get that to straighten up. Yeah. You'll have to put all those papers underneath some heavy stuff. Yeah, I've got something I'm gonna set them under. I got a box. I'm gonna set them under your shipping box. There you um, go. That I, that I transferred everything to. Yeah, I'm gonna set it under there. All right, and then we had the tracing paper, which we tried to put a piece of lace on there. We got a slight image from that, but I mean, it was just an experiment. But we did use the tracing paper. I'm thinking about making a pocket or something with like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's the other piece of that real thick, uh, fiber paper. And then we experimented with food col or food coloring and, uh, coffee stain, which made a beautiful shade of a grungy reddish brown. And then we have the experimental cards when we first started with the food coloring. Made two different sides. We have the index cards. All 
we have the large uh, envelope that we had to glue back together. But look how gorgeous that turned out to look like with this same method, guys. I think I taught you what, three different type of methods to how to do this. I think I like the envelope the best. That it came out nice. Yeah, yeah. it did. And then we have the Scantron cards. And then we have the uh, the envelope uh, or the card. The card that you can put in envelope. And then we have the vintage book pages that we so accidentally figured out that we could do this and make some beautiful pieces. Make them look very, very vintage. And I love this. I don't know why I do, but I love the way this is torn. I ripped it out of my book like that. and I, But I am actually falling in love with how this is ripped. I may have to use that the way it is. Um, let's see. And then we have the, uh, the crumpled paper effect paper. Um, we have the crumpled paper envelope. And that die went all the way to the inside there. All the way down. And then we have another one of the larger envelopes, the, um, the resume envelopes. Then we have a, I believe this was a piece of just regular typing paper. That one you can actually see the lace through it. Yeah, and you can see the outline where we, we got it, sort of. Yeah. And then this was a piece of heavy, uh, heavy cardstock. Very thick. And then two more pieces of the heavy car stock that we started with. And then last but not least, we have some more of this, uh, the, um, the, the uh, tracing paper. Uh, crap, uh, Lizzie, I hope you didn't go on early. You ain't got her notification besides the 30 minute one, have you? Yeah, I have it. Okay. That's the uh, paper and then the one of the other papers that we did with the Cambridge, the Cambria. Yep. The grungy style, the one that I did. Yep. Um, and then you all know the last two that we did. And then we have that lace that we played with. That turned out gorgeous. So let me put that up against something that you all can see. This turned out gorgeous. Yeah. That's like, what, four or five layers of coffee dye on it? Yeah, both sides. Well, that one is actually probably be bottom down because it didn't get dyed too bad. This is gorgeous. It's stained perfectly. So... If you would like to have a kit put together with some of this stuff, well, not this stuff, but some of this stuff that's exactly like this, please put it in the comments below if you're watching the replay. And I will definitely have this one uh, put together for you for a auction item, but you'll have to bid on it. But if you like to purchase one outside of the stream or an auction, please get a, get a hold of me and we'll discuss a price for you. But uh, other than that, Auction February 6th, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will see uh, you will see some kits with some of this uh, with some paper like this in the kits. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I had so much fun playing and uh, visiting with everybody and getting everybody involved, giving giving some, some more ideas on on these beautiful colors and ideas that we had here today but uh if you enjoyed please hit those thumbs up please hit those subscribe buttons 
on both of our channels, Marina's Creations and my channel as well. So um, if you're not familiar with Facebook, please head over to Creative Jewels by Emily and hit that friend request. Uh, and we'll get you in there. And also Marina's Creations, she has a Facebook as well. So if you all would like to go and join her happy family over there, please do so. Um, let's see. Anything else? Any other announcements that I need to make, Marina? Nope. We're all set. All righty, guys. Thank you, everybody that has come to chill out with us. I have got to go. Uh, uh, Lizzie's going to be on soon, and I got to go eat. So I hope you all had fun. Thank you again for joining me tonight, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow evening at about 5 o'clock. Watch for the Mixed Media Mashup post and i will see you guys then because we're gonna play with our new toy i finished it i fixed it and i finished it so we're gonna play with our new toy so i hope to see each and every one of you there and have a wonderful and blessed rest of your night you may see me in lizzie's stream so if you don't know who she is go find her she's fun all righty guys have a good have night, a night everybody. Night.